as I say, give me a disgusting helmet. That's not it. Try again. <gasps> oh shit! It's fine, what's the worst that can that that can be? Did not work at all. <laughs> Ooh, hello. How's everybody doing? Ah, also, last question: Why are you using not in dream? It seems like nothing changes. Uh, yeah, unholy might gives us wither now. So that sword gives us nothing except level 25 envy. Which we still want, but you get that from both swords. So. Wither. And the suffixes. Pineapple. How are you making the most disgusting things already? It's like day four. I'm gonna need you to relax. It's day four. My entire net worth is currently 13 div. Need the instant leech, no need, and it doesn't seem to do anything. Unfortunately, so I got rid of it. Either the leech here is not leeching nearly as much as it's meant to, and so the amount that's instant is an irrelevant amount, or the instant doesn't work at all. But it is leeching something because I still have recovery even in non even in no regen maps, so it's like slightly working. Uh, 
when I do ultimatums in tier 16, my animate guardian keeps dying. Is there anything I can do about it? What's your gear set? What do you have on your animate guardian when he dies? And what level is he? And are you sure that he is linked to minion life meat shield? Disappointed by the Spectre Heavy Zoom answer, looking for an alternative. Wish I enjoyed SRS. Got my hands hurt. In the pressure gloves at the moment. Exclamation mark gloves. These are the best ones you should buy from there. Also, I get a cut when you buy from there. And they deliver worldwide, but they're really, really good. Everybody who's bought them has loved them. Everyone. I haven't had a single bad review yet. No, no they're worldwide. I'm Australian. Also, I think they're made in China. Uh, level 20 and linked. I run the low budget suggestion shooting guide. All right, what chest do you run? Grathril's Pelt. So we found a new chest this league called Zendaeus Casrock. Try that out and see if it works. Otherwise, there's a few extra things we can do. One, get a corrupted anime guardian for level 21 levels on him are insane the second thing you can do is drop this wheel and take this side minion life fizz damage reduction and fizz damage reduction all res anti-bleed here this is insanely good for making him more tanky although i haven't needed it yet but if you're struggling with them being tanky this is the way to go with that and the third thing to look at is to make sure you have this minions recover 5% of life on death mastery. Is it arena master? Can I use in for the three poison? No. Exclamation mark specters. What strategy are we going to do? Uh, boxes, boxes, and boxes is the plan. Um, What I was just thinking of right now, though, is that I don't... It's just, I get extra boxes from here, but I don't know if. A double corrupt of my Aegis, I got plus two minion level and 4% max life. I assume that's good. Unfortunately, the minion level's pretty useless. There's nowhere we can really put a three link that works. Well, hang on, give me a minute. Okay, well, you can do something with it. You could mess around. The 5% life is great. Or 4% life. Um, but you could mess around with your links. If you look at my character, how I have Divine Blessing, Haste, and Vitality. Well, what if we put Stone Golem Feeding Frenzy here? Right? And then took our Divine Blessing and put it in the helmet instead of the Stone Golem Feeding Frenzy? And just made sure that the divine blessing isn't linked to anything else in the helmet at least you'd get two extra levels out of at least you'd then have two extra levels out of your stone golem which is more regen which is really good what double corrupt would i want um fizz taken as would be probably one of the best things you could do physical is like our weakest defensive point is our max fizz hit we've got plenty of recovery but most of the time when we die, it's from a max fizz hit. So if we can get fizz taken as anything. That's really good. What if I have link, what should I put in last? Unbound or minion damage? Uh, that depends. 
minion damage is the worst damage link that we have um however if we have bone barrier right now i would rather use minion damage than unbound as my last link because it increases the hit damage and i need it tried to make my dead eye not feel ultra squishy i think this was a mistake So go on bound. Yeah, if you've gone Mistress of Sacrifice and all your tankiness is coming from the blocking and whatnot, that's great. Fine. Um, then you want to go unbound. Leave minion damage off. It's the worst link. But if we want this one, we take extra. We want the extra hit damage for Leech. In which case, we we want to we want to keep minion damage because it affects the hit as well. Even though it's slightly worse DPS, it's just a little bit better for recovery. Shares are complete. The filters is intended and no red tank. I almost missed two earlier. Um, I was really hoping that uh, let's have a look at filters before I start mapping. I was really hoping that um, they would just get tiered by never sync at some point. Like, let's have a look. You explain why Frostblink over Flame Dash. Personal preference. Irrelevant. Same as Whirling Blades or Shield Charge. Both fit. Both fit. It doesn't matter. Whichever one you'd prefer to use. Flame Dash or Frostblink. And Shield Charge or Whirling Blades. Both. Both perfectly viable. Okay, it looks like, I don't know when this update happened, but it looks like tar Scarabs have been tiered. So it looks like I just have to... Um, it looks like I just have to push all the updates for all the filters. It looks like Scarabs have been tiered. Um, I will tell everyone as I tier these Scarabs that... You should still pick up even these bottom ones that are seemingly worth less than a chaos. Because right now the market is way too volatile. We haven't worked out metas at all. And also, even when something is priced at half a C, if it's in bulk, it'll be 4C each. Things that are 3C scarabs in bulk will be like 8 each. Right? Like, um, you should still be picking them all up. But at least all the ones hopefully over 100C are now Tinking in the white, looks like. Yeah, cool. All right, so I just need to push that update to everybody. Uh, while we're here, red map to two void stones needs to get slightly stricter already because league start is essentially over. Unfortunately, those have to stay. People just getting to red maps on their first character are still going to need those. Can we do something about the div cards? Oh, I already did. Oh, I th that's right. I turned off a bunch of cheap cards yesterday for them. Okay, that's fine. Morning. Uh, 
Killer after two mm. void stones. Load. Mr. Rinto, you did. Hey, while I'm looking at this. No, <laughs> you, you missed it now. While I'm looking at this, can anyone tell me what the number is below stream? The out of 300 and... I think it says out of 350, but it only actually needs to be 300. But what's the, what's the, what's the number there? It can't be 17. Damn it. It's bugged. It's a hundred and something. It's easily in the high hundreds. That's so annoying. I don't know how to figure out what that real number is now. Uh, how much have you invested in your current build? No idea, to be honest. Yo, am I about to hide single alterations and single chisels? That doesn't feel right this early. Nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Not yet. I'll need, I'll be leaving for work in like 20 minutes at the latest. Actually, I have something I would like you to buy. Uh, hang on, let me sell this. I do have something I would like you to buy though. They're not coming or what? I'm sure better for you. You, they already show. I already put them in. Uh, if you see one, you won't be able to miss it. It's fucking. Dead. Which one do you want? Uh, Alchemist flask sheet of the dove. That one? 44 chaos for a flask I spent three alterations on. Cool. Thanks for the bunny. And just a preference since the leech helps no regen but offering just feels so good but they just um yeah they're at this point personal preference um they're both pretty good but the leech stuff is definitely bugged it should be it should be way better but it isn't Magic and normal base, not just rare? Yes, uh, here, look, I'll show you. It, it's the same in all filters. Um, I put... Where did I put it? Uh, wait, where did I put it? I know I did this. Here it is. At least item level 73, normal, magic, or rare, batted foils of any kind. They'll show up like this. They'll be big fucking green with a big purple beam. They look so different to the rest of the filter because it's a ridiculous thing that these are still worth a div. It's ridiculous. And so there's like a custom rule here for 
equal to or greater than item level 73 normal magic or rare battered foil you will not be able to miss it they're also very rare because it's a low level base that we're looking for in high level zones also morning Calexia. right so so not many of these show up so it's not like a super shock that you haven't seen one but they are highlighted on all of my filters you will not be able to miss them and they look fucking stupid compared to the rest of the filter because it's stupid that they're worth anything it, it's so out of place it's so out of place that I wanted people to see it and be jarred by how weird it looks compared to everything else and then if they couldn't figure it out come and ask me why the fuck this is showing up with such a special highlight right like that's what I wanted to happen so that you'd be like why the fuck is this showing up like this and then if you couldn't figure it out you'd come and ask so that's that's why they look fucking dumb to make sure nobody misses money but they are all highlighted i promise was a level range 73 or above Yeah, there's plenty of precedent for this. Shit like this has happened before. Lawn Rapiers, yep. Um, also for one league, I think it was not Grove Bows, the 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 baby version of Grove Bow, the one that's like a low item level requirement, but people wanted item level 80 versions. They were really expensive. What's the fucking Grove Bow baby version? Short bow. That's the one. People needed like item level 80 short bows, and they were suddenly like a divine each. Because low item level bases do not show up very often in high level content and then on top of that people don't know to look for them right like people do not know to look for them so even when they do drop which isn't often a large majority of people just leave it because it just shows up like any normal other base so there's there is a precedent for like lower item level bases being incredibly high when they're in high item levels but a low base it's happened before Um, okay. What's a max stack of armors? Are they 40 as well? I only want to pick up max stacks now. Cool. 40 it is. No, not 440. That won't work. Show me a stack of 40 or nothing. And you... You can all show up in 20s, that's fine. Beat sacks to the moon, are they? That's a pity. Hundred C. Oh, I thought you meant expensive. <laughs> I thought you meant expensive. My bad. When you said to the moon, I thought maybe they're worth like four or five, eight, maybe ten div by now. Yes, yes you can. I walked out of a single map with like six div worth of scarabs from a meat sack. When used correctly.
Got children in the divine of last night, got 10 rod if nice. And we're gonna try the strongest member gets scarabs and then got like 20 total scarabs. Um, did you see Ellie banned everyone who gold exploded? <laughs> Fucking good shit. Good. It won't even have been everybody who gold exploded either. It'll be everyone who gold exploded like multiple times. Like if you did it once or twice and was like, ooh, that works, uh, and then stopped, you probably didn't get in trouble. Just trying to see if there's anything else I can hide here. Did any account have participated? Yeah, they said that. But I know for sure there are people that did it once or twice and then... Oh, you had to go in and edit. Oh, right. Okay. So this is not something you could have done by accident and then repeated to see if it worked again to see if you were right. And then been like, whoopsie daisy, it does work. This is something you very much had to do intentionally. Uh, first round of fixes tonight, copium. Uh, I don't even think that's copium. I think there'll be a patch today. Uh, how are you clearing without melee splash? I'm not. Okay, no need for you to ding at me. Everything else fine. Um you might see me using melee splash if you like look at my account at any point. It depends on what I did last. I'm using melee splash right here. But also just in my off weapon, I have multi strike that I just swap in whenever I wanna Whenever I want to do something single target, I'm swapping into multi-strike and then I'll just change it back to the melee splash. A really nice chance to do a melee splash and multi-strike together. No, never. I mean, if you were like stuck on a corrupted one that had two reds, that's what you'd do. You would just drop minion damage and run melee ready. and run that, but but there's no way that that's what you do intentionally. Do you ever change unleash? No. Never. Uh, a 
I was able to pick up an Uls for 19 div today. Having Malevolence on a game feels really good. Which Uls was it that you picked up? Just out of curiosity. Envy, nice. My suggestion is if you haven't already, put haste on permanently. Put malevolence on the envy. What you want is haste to always be on all the time. And then malevolence as the blessing so that when you want to deal a buttload more damage, you can, but you always move. Excuse me, you always move fast. Nineteen div, I'm struggling to even afford the big sword. Um, yesterday, I finally afforded to get the big sword upgrade. And today, I have 13 div and 400 chaos. So... Um, all right, anybody who's currently playing, who didn't just log in in the last three minutes, definitely go hit your refresh button right here. This little refresh button on your loot filter, if you're using my loot filters, hit that. There is now div, uh, there is now scarab tiering, and I've pushed that into all of the filters so that we'll see the very, very good, um, scarabs with super highlights. It is still worth picking up everything. And uh, we're losing the storm shell for ailment immunity. No, we're already ailment immune. We're we're already ailment immune. So ignite does like sixty percent less duration because of the pantheon, and we have so much regen and in my case leech, but normally just regen, that the little duration left of ignite doesn't matter. We're already immune to a shock. We already can't be frozen. We don't care about sap because we don't deal any damage. We don't care about brittle eventually because our animate guardian makes us crit immune and scorch is just a little bit of a minus max, uh, minus res thing. So how can you get a filter? Exclamation mark filter. There are three different strictnesses for three different types of the, uh, like three different places in your campaign. You can subscribe to them there and they automatically get pushed to you whenever I do updates, which is at the beginning of the league, sometimes multiple times a day, at least once a day. On day one, I pushed like three filter updates. Need a burger joke or no, it's not a joke. What would be funny about it? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> Minion Leech is bugged. Filler after two void stones is the highest strictness. Yes. And that is the same one I am currently running. Okay, there, is, just find characters ready. there is sometimes need for a filter stricter than that. That's if you're like an mf -er or a degenerate juicer or whatever. Uh, and I don't provide filters any stricter than that because filters stricter than this need to be made by you. Like if you're doing like degenerate magic find stuff, you need to be making your own filters at that point. So that's the strictest generic filter that I can give anybody. Oof. Also... Yellow, thank you for the 66 months. And Haxor, thank you for the tier one sub. How do you feel about it? Oh, I'm running on it, it feels tankier, but it feels bad being unable to cast while taking damage. Hmm. There's not enough loot for the strictest level of that team. Things don't drop unless it's just scabs or dirhams. Ah, uh, we'll see. With the bug, the way it currently is for Leech, I'm suddenly way less excited about Poison SRS and continuing to like make it better and whatnot. Like I could invest more and I could keep doing more, but I was really excited about the new tech and it doesn't fucking work properly. And it makes me so less excited to do it. Do 
Have you hidden yellow maps yet? No. Ah, it should be fine. And your leash doesn't currently work. Um, it works. I know it's working. I know minion leech is working because I can run cannot regen maps and I still have decent recovery. So I know it's doing something. But it's not doing enough and it's not doing as much as it should do and because of that instant leech isn't working. Is the rare one not worth using? I don't think so. Goodbye, Nexar. Oh. Oh. Your single focus stops guardian maps from dropping. Uh, yes, it does. What we don't know is how much impact it has on tier 17 maps. We're going to find that out today, hopefully. Um, Blakey doesn't know either, but I asked him and he said he'll try and get, he'll try and get an answer today of somebody who knows. doesn't stop tier 17s but no no hang on it might though let me let me let me explain right um there's two options to how it would work it has to work one of these two ways but we don't know which way um so the order at the end right so there's a whole bunch of rules of like drop a tier hidden hidden map equity system etc 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 get to the end few stages because successfully drop a tier 16 map there are two options from there successfully roll tier 16 then check if it's going to roll up to a tier 17 then drop that then check if it's one if it's your favorite map and if it's not turn it into currency that's what we want to happen but what i suspect is not happening because of how many tier 17s i'm getting compared to how many tier 16s people using singular focus are getting what i think is happening is successfully roll a tier 16 map check if it's your favorite if it's not turn it into currency if it is your favorite then roll a chance for it to be a tier 17. that's what i think is happening because i'm getting about four or five tier 17s to each one blakey was getting And that makes me think something's wrong. Now, to be fair, that's only over the course of one day and they are rare enough that you could make the argument that that was just RNG. It's not nearly enough sample size to be sure. But what I do know is that we definitely, definitely, definitely want to find out exactly how that works. So, so probably it's tier 17s as well yes but tier 17s are now such an important integral part of the entire game right now and, and all of your progression that i don't believe that it should be following the same rules i think we should be dropping tier 17s regardless um i don't think they should be 
I, I think if it works the way I'm worried it works, I think it's an accident or an oversight more than anything else. So we're, but we're looking into it today. And if I find out that it was just an unlucky streak on Blakey's part or a lucky streak on my part and we can go back to singular focus, I'll be really, really happy about it because the kind of person I am, I just want to pick a map and run it forever. Does it not eat Valdos? It does not eat Valdos because Valdo drops count as currency drops, not map drops. They're in the currency drop pool. However, tier 17s can't be in the currency drop pool because they drop based on your maps but the boxes for Valdos are currency boxes so they don't have that problem Jack, I don't know if you just got here at the end of that explanation or if you weren't listening. Just got here? Right. You will get, no matter which way it works, you will get some tier 17 maps. My concern is that a large portion of the tier 17 maps you're supposed to get will not be showing up. Maybe I need to like clip a proper explanation of that or something so that I can link it to people. The concern is that only once you successfully drop one of your favorite maps, not the ones that get turned into currency, only then can it roll a chance for a tier 17 map to drop so you will still get some leading to people who are using singular focus thinking everything's fine but it's actually eating far more of them than it's giving you that's the concern we don't know if it's true that's just the concern you confirm that you are getting tier 17s with focus enabled yes because plenty of people in our group have had singular focus and are still getting them the reason we have this concern is because blakey dropped about a third the amount of tier 17s i did while running maps twice as much and killing twice as many mobs and doing twice as many maps or more but has less tier 17s than i've got by a significant margin and I've not been running singular focus so that's why we're concerned about it it's not a guarantee it's just something we need to figure out it's something we need to right my understanding that's how the conqueror shaper and elder maps will not shaper because they're their own maps but yes that is also how it works for those The problem is uh, Conqueror maps rarely drop if you're not specced into them, especially compared to how often tier 17s drop. And tier 17s are worth 50 chaos, not 15 chaos. So it's actually pretty important, <laughs> significantly more important. it's like it's like people aren't paying attention hmm 
Uh, so some of them are worth 50 cows. If you look, so abominations, not worth 50 cows. Um, they're probably 30, 35. Singularities, also only 35. Fortress, easy 55C. Also, I'm pretty sure 55C is the price if you've got one map and you just want to sell it to one person. Yeah, <laughs> if I, especially if I sell them in bulk, uh, there'll be more than that. Did I finish this map? I can't even remember now. Yes, but I want to turn this shit off. This shit needs to go right now. Mm, what are you wanting to play instead of SRS? Is it bad that I really, really, really enjoyed the Chieftain Explodes so much that I just want to make a Chieftain RF build? Is that bad of me? Like, am I a bad person? But it was just so fun. I really, really enjoyed it. It was so good. This is almost my league start because of the same reason, right? It's not lightning error and that was my guess as to where you were going. <laughs> the other thing is I have an idea for cock DD, but in a very different way from what other people were doing it. But that one's like a question. Um, we've got big question mark. Nobody's doing it the way I'm thinking about doing it. And it requires me to craft some stuff that doesn't exist that I don't even know how to make. That would be a job for pineapple anyway, but uh, we'll see. The best version, Poets Pen, Squire, Impulsor. That seems cool. Where the fuck are transmutes, by the way? Why am I seeing small stacks of transmutes? I don't want to. See this 20? Why does it say here? There's a stack of four. Why is there a stack of four? I don't want to see a stack of four transmutes, man. Oh. Oh, jump to rule. Hey! Get out of here. Thank you. Um, okay, there was a way to turn off white corrupted maps. There was an easy way to turn off white corrupted maps. This is the bit I always get lost on every single league. I always forget how to do this. It's been away for like three or four leagues now. It's already there. Um, hide corrupted non rare maps. Hide corrupted mirrored maps that are normal and magic. Leave rares on. That's the one. 11% chance to blind and basically full up climb. What accuracy do I need on minions? Of course, if you tick minion, if you tick enemy is blinded, by the way, you only need about a 4% chance, 
for it to be about 100% uptime. Your SRS hit between five and nine times a second, depending on your gear. And there are 20 of them. If you have like 4% chance to blind, you have to click show, not hide. No, you have to hit a hide. The rules are disabled to begin with. And if you change it to hide, then it hides them. Do we not literally want to see every map for the nameless seer hunting? I do not want normal or magic corrupted things. Um, actually, while I'm here, is there tiering for these yet? It fucking should be. There's no show item button either. We didn't set a pale sephirim yet. They have 20% actually with 80% uptime and just a little squishy. Exclamation mark, spectre. I do not believe that they replace Pale Sephirim. You use both of those. My favorite Spectres right now is Arena Master, Pale Sephirim, Spectral Leader. That's my three. Who's Raz? Also, I thought about doing the economy for these, but then I realized they're all changing. They could be today. It could be today. So like, there's no point in messing with the, we just show all of them until, right? Since yesterday I upgraded the boots. So I just use all four. Yep, that's fair. Um, can I interest you in some, in another idea instead of using all four of them like that? Um, if you have four, this is what I would do if I had four. If I had four, I would have an arena master, a spectral leader, and two carnage chieftains. That's what I would do if I had four. I never use a carnage chieftain in this build because one Carnage Chieftain is trash. He doesn't give enough Frenzy Charges for how often we replace SRS. So most of my SRS end up getting replaced when they only have one Frenzy Charge or when they've just received their second. Whereas if I have two of them, they sit at three Frenzy Charges most of the time. And that is a lot. But four Carnage Chieftains to be worth it, you need to have two. And it's not worth giving up my arena master for frenzy charges and it's not worth giving up my spectral leader for frenzy charges so the only one i could drop is pale sephirim but one isn't enough one is not enough to replace it so if it were me and i had the plus two boots and i was running four specters i'd be running arena master spectral leader and two carnage chieftains for frenzy charges that's what i would be doing Ooh, uh, I know what else I'd like to turn off. Um, ooh, can I turn off heist contracts for everybody? I really can't, can I? I can at least make them stop dinging at people. Can I do that? Can I make them stop dinging at people? I can do that, right? Um, all right, something else for strict. How do we get specters like Arena Master? The best thing to do is just to go to somebody else's hideout and pick them up. Um, they're a fucking pain in the ass to get, to be honest. If you're in solo cell phone, let me know. I'll walk you through the bullshit you have to do to get them, but it's bullshit. Just go to somebody's hideout. 
Uh, splinter. Um, breach stones. I need to look up the cost of breach stones. I would like to hide them too, but I don't know if I can. I'd like to hide them, but I do not know if I can. They're on a silver cast of a drop wall caller. Yes. In fact, you probably should run a silver flask instead of a quick silver, even if you have a wall caller. Spectral leader is very squishy compared to everyone else. He is. Mine has died all of one time. But yes. Um, where do I... Where do I see the full stones? Here. What are you worth? Um, right. At 20 chaos a stone. And 100 splinters. An individual Zoff is worth one-fifth of a chaos so we can turn off individual splinters on Zoff we can turn them off on Tull I assume we can turn them off on everything except Ulnatol and Chalupa I assume and Ulnatol if I had to guess it'd be like 40-45 35 even that's arguably okay to turn off Mm, nah, it goes up to 40 pretty quick. That's worth double the value. And then Chalupa. Much more. Okay. And can I assume all timeless emblems are worthless? Can I assume all timeless emblems are worthless? Where are they? Ten C, ten C, ten C, twenty C for three, ten for three, and even ten. Even the most expensive ones are only seven C a piece in bulk. Yeah, okay. We're not picking up individual splinters of any of the timeless. We'll still pick up stacks. I just, you know, give me stacks all day. Individuals can fuck right off though. Honestly, two stacks can go away too. Details. Why Maven invites only 50c? Because she doesn't drop anything that matters. Easy way to get a bunch of orders of making red altars or Tujin or heist. or pathofexile.com slash trade. The 
So our abandoned wealth is disabled. Uh, abandoned wealth. It's most certainly not. It is most certainly not. It is in the valuable card tier. As was a three exalt tier. It's in the valuable tier. It is not disabled. Okay, after two void stones is now updated again. I just had a stack of three of my other restoring as hidden by loot filter. Are you 100% sure you're on my synced loot filter? And if you are 100% sure, which version? Because I will go and double check it right now. Maybe it's, maybe you're on a different one to me and it got broken somewhere. Just let me, because this is the strict version. This is the after two void stones that I'm looking at. It's definitely not hidden there. Skip saving. Download. Uh, I'm sure it's grayed out. Which version of my filter are you running? Like, what's the what's the name? Why do you have multi strike and culling? Uh, multi strike. I mean, multi strike is good. Culling is in some of the path of buildings when the animate guardian has a kingmaker on it it is just to give it's a level one cull because it doesn't add any damage uh, just as i have 15 minutes after two void stones something's gone wrong with your filter hit refresh because that's the one i was just looking at it is they are not hidden That is literally this one that I've just done. Check guild. What? No shot. Nice. Grace aura effect is pretty good too. Coming out to uh, employ three a plus two helmet. And a corrupted gem. I have the anoint. Uh, this one. Death attunement. And four div from a headhunter. Diggs, do you want four div right now? Just give it back to me later. You want to go buy your headhunter right this second? Interesting. Is it possible it was grayed out because you didn't have the money for it? Something's going on because that's the one I just had. That's literally the one I just had open, so. No malevolence aura, not at this stage.
Grim Masters made a loud clang for me. That's <laughs> a unique map. Get your magic find characters ready. Hey, Nelly, you the T1 sub. Oh, whoops. Finally getting some alterations. Finally. Vision uh, armor best as a defensive layer. You can't really get enough evasion for it to be worth it. So we go with armor, especially if you're using the Aegis Aurora stuff. There are league chests you can put in your hideout. Yes. There most certainly is. Surrender. Yep. Uh, surrender also hands out a big chunk of armor as well, so that helps. So definitely armor. Evasion is an incredibly good defensive layer, but you need to get quite a lot of it. We can't get enough of it for that armor, so armor is just better for us. That to me. Just avoid bomb reliquary. Should I do this? You use it or sell it? <laughs> like, it's up to you. But 
the expected return is always less than what it sells for so monetarily the answer is always going to be you should sell your voidborn reliquary key but it's so much more fun to open them so i think you should open them Uh, what's your DPS net now? Uh, I've already forgotten. I put out a video last night with my new upgraded gear and what my total real DPS is. That sounds about right. I honestly don't remember, but that sounds about right. Can I use your pails and six 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 aren't replying? That's because you got one more less six than you're supposed to have. It's six thousand six hundred and sixty six. But yes, you can when this map is over. for me Saka does the item level matter so the item level matters because you can only use ones that are relatively close to the item level of the map you're running I don't know if anyone knows what the best use case for meat sacks is yet but it's use case in general um it's use case in general is when you get the strongest monster in a pack will drop this converted into this what a meat sack does is it combines the whole pack and all of its loot into one mob so when you when you put a meat sack on that you get a ton of rewards so we'd be looking at like probably um definitely scarabs definitely divines i don't know if anything else past that is worth it or not but if it's divines or scarabs a meat sack is appropriate for sure Unlucky the levels have been uh, I'm been a single one and I'm at red maps. I've only found two. So Um, hello? What the fuck? What is this guy? Always crits exposed on death. Thugs grip. Why are you not taking damage? What the fuck is that guy?
There's no comp ground on this map. I just put multi strike in. He's still not dying. What the fuck is that? Hey, 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 die. No, why are you healing? I'm so you see what you're invested in do first for an SRS build. Uh, the baby version of this sword is only like 20C or something. Start with that. Then probably just get a basic six link. Probably you can't afford a covenant at that rate, but you can afford a basic six link. That's for sure. tabula for leveling don't get a tabula get like an armor evasion hybrid or an evasion chest either one that's corrupted with the right colors already or one that you can craft on it's almost never worth having a tabula anymore on any build the price of like corrupted six links generally speaking like 10 see more than a tabula Oh, right, right, yeah, yep. Yeah. Under colors and highlights to my own filters. <laughs> Yes, it is. What specifically are you after? Found, but I'm used to how you look. Um, so there's a module called Baylor's Color Scheme or Baylor's Colors or something like that. If you just look up the module for you, just look up Baylor Mage as the author, you'll see my entire color scheme is its individual module. You can just hit apply on your own filter and yoink my entire color scheme and then have your own filter based around that. If you wanna. Uh, on the presets yep my entire filter is module so you can take any part of it you like Sash, um, as far as your question, Teflon, should we use smiting or not? I'm not telling other people to use smiting uh, because it doesn't have the 40% more life on it and other people's animate guardians are dying. Mine doesn't die. Um, so I'm using animate guardian of smiting because it has way better coverage. So it makes for way more like pop explodes throughout my map. But uh, 
people's animate guardians die and they complain about it all the time so i'm not including animate guardian of smiting in a fucking build guide because every single day people will be like no what about my animate guardian died what are the first two specters does anyone know pale sephirim and arena master yeah 35 percent increased life is not the same as 40 percent more life by the way <laughs> Uh-huh. The normal animate guardian gem has f on it at level 20. Here, look. 38% more life. This one doesn't have that at all. So it's a lot squishier. Um, that'll do. And. Damn it. I need something else to be red sockets. Was the baby sword? Uh, severed and sleep. Red sockets, please. Mm, you'll do. If you're thinking about dying, trust old Waylum. Don't. Boop, boop. Well, there's a twenty one. Hey, there's a 2120. Nice. And a 21 animate guardian. Unfortunately, it's not my animate guardian of smiting. So. Rip. The low value cards we can't hide stacks if it's a stack we can't do anything about it just hit three red ah i've actually already got one three red never mind i'll just put this one over here Seems like a bone quiver for like 20c uh because i'd have to get um a uh, six red bow and that seems insane here's a 21 um srs if you want it teflon i know you're talking about re-rolling i don't know if you need a 21 srs but they're only like 10c without quality so not worth selling. Got a 21 now. I'm running the ES with well, so I can just have to wait a few seconds and max block any tip. Nope, that's correct. That is that is a thing that happens. Um, that's something I'm used to and I'm happy to put up with that you can play around. Do you need a level 20 animate guardian as well? A regular one? Or have you already got that too? Oops. Don't have that one yet. 
Boop. There we go. Boop. Oh, I hope he doesn't die. I hate that they changed quality flipping. Me too. Me too. Um, okay, cards, 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 cards. Alterations, alterations. Alterations. GCPs. Building destructive play. No. What are you thinking about Ghost Reaver with ES Leech? I was thinking about that. Yes. I was thinking about Ghost Reaver with ES Leech for the Aegis Mom deck. It might actually be worth it, but I haven't got a chance to test that yet. Alterations. Also GCPs. Do I still really have an 11C tab turned on? Oh, it's my gem tab, isn't it? Yep. Look, I'm so sick of dying this RF turn falls off hard in two sixteens. RF what? 2020 minion life, so 80 <laughs> don't don't buy those. Just buy a minion life from the vendor. It'll level quick and you'll flip it yourself. Never thought I'm thinking poison spark pathfinder thoughts. We've got projectile tattoos again. They are they're only slightly weaker than last time. Like only slightly, right? I want ten percent area of effect. That's true for Poison SRS. I'm doing Expedition Harvest right now, but Harvest seems not great compared to before. Expedition is great. I'm interested in everyone else's tree. I mean, Expedition is, should be fantastic money. Um. Otherwise. I don't know. Take Great for healers and dog shit in reds. Funnily enough, um, Pox day three video yesterday has him doing RF Chieftain doing a tier 17. No mage blood or anything like that. 
So you might want to look up what's going on because it should not be weak in tier 16s. Sorry, I just saw that grayed out again in general. It looked 90% identical. There's another loot filter. Or if I just don't have enough attribute. Right, right. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. No, that's that's good. That's fine. I'm fine with that being a problem. I would be worried if somehow my filter was actually hiding the thing. That would be an issue. You're able to do any tier 17s? No. No, I've been annihilated at every turn. Only enough is to get my race each time. It's exciting, man. I love it. I love that there are just maps dropping in my map that like just fucking obliterate me. It's great. Can do to them real easy, also, right? I have no idea. Do they all have small boss rooms or just that one? As far as I can tell, there are so many mods that brick fucking every build. I don't think the idea... I mean, I'm sure someone will come up with things that, like, do everything. But I think the... I think the point is that you would... You would just buy the maps that suit your build. Interested in trying ranged animate weapon? Nope. Not even a little bit. I 
Other building shows more damage. It is more damage. It was significantly less fun. <laughs> I don't want to run anime weapon. It's a pain in the ass. How's the strat going? Um, I mean, there's a lot more drops and a lot more map returns. I don't know. I don't know if I'd call it making good, good money, but definitely more scarabs and more drops and more maps. I'm getting a lot of bubblegum currency. That's the real thing. I'm getting a lot of bubblegum currency. You don't even need divine shield, just mind over matter. Uh, about how many do I the castle you're in this league so far? Uh, not nearly enough. No idea though. Okay, so here's the problem i hid corrupted white maps and it was successful however the ones with the implicits that are corrupted white are showing through anyway and that is a separate rule that's just show corrupted implicits or hide corrupted implicits but I don't want to see a white map, even if it has an implicit. But that's not a rule. This will do nicely, extra. Think we'll never sink? I think so. First Jinx Juju and Solo Cell Fan is perfect roll. Nice. Make a custom roll with uh, priority to hide the show as of next year. So I think that what would happen if I try and hide the implicits is it would hide every single map that had an implicit. Even the rare ones that I did want. I don't want to hide my tier. I still want to be picking up all maps. Too much clutter. 
I do not want to hide white and yellow maps right now. What's your criteria then? I just want to hide maps that are corrupted and not rare. Which I have done, except the ones that are corrupted and not rare that have corrupted implicits on it are still showing because it's a brand new rule and there's nothing I can do about that right now. Where was it? And not before. Where was it? No. Shit, how far back in the map was it? Here we go. See these? Just burn those for the seer model fire. Uh, I'm walking out of every map with 20 maps. Um, I don't need to have white corrupted ones clogging up my stash to burn for seer. Shoot an accuracy roll or a blind roll. Accuracy or blind. You don't want to see white tier or gray rarity crafted maps. Rarity. I, I I still want to be picking up white maps. I don't want to see. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, or Baylor's, which is like eight six five, two two five six seven.
grand. That's the one for your most recent video. New. This time I'm trying just a buttload of boxes being added to every map. Just boxes, 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 boxes. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, I'm still using that um, Zahithurdius thing. It's pretty good. Do a link to the atlas tree you're using. I don't know. The angle min max is a 2120 and server 21. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot to change that. It matters now. It didn't matter before. We didn't care about getting a level 21 before. current tree to that command after this map i'll make a a thing for it that being said if there's one thing i don't think anyone should ever be copying me on it's atlas trees this is not my specialty i'm not rich i don't really know what i'm doing I just make shit up I'm stuck on many on boots. But then I'm wondering how to get three sectors on alls. So that's how you get a fourth spectre. A level 25 gem gets you an extra spectre. And right, and if you if and if you go the the route, there's there's so many options for this build. If you go the route where you're using a charisma, then it gets you your third spectre back, right? Either way, it's one spectre, is what it is. It also adds two levels to your animate guardian, which does add quite a lot of health to it. And this tech is just a really budget chest for an animate guardian. It's one C chest you can use in your animate guardian. That's pretty good. It'll just take end up working. Think about rolling. Uh, leech is bugged. It's definitely still recovering. It's definitely still leeching something. Not nearly as much as it should be or... And the instant stuff is just not working at all. It's still okay, but it's not what I'd call fantastic.
Yeah, I'm feeling a touch squishy in juice 16s. Me too. And I think it's because of the leech tech bug. So you can use the yes, yes, absolutely use that one. It's great. Better way to craft flasks that isn't alteration spam. No, you alt spam flasks. That's that's how it's that's how that's how flasks are crafted. Using ass and ass. Yup. Absolutely. No point just not knowing for awakening gems depends how expensive they are like awakened minion damage was super cheap it's like 100 chaos make a melee splash i dropped you never need unleash unbound is only adc that was pretty good void manipulation was quite a bit more expensive probably not worth getting that early but i dropped it on the floor so i put it on seeing any way to see leech mm, you can't there is no way to see the leech there is box tech mm, getting a lot of bubblegum currency i can tell you that not getting any like big drops or divines or anything like that but getting a lot of just like Chaos, regrets, alks, scours, those sort of things. So, don't know yet. Plenty of scarabs, that's for sure. when uh we'll see i think we'll see several patches this week also no good flask feels bad man could have been a great thing to have in the league mechanic you're are you in solo self found tyler Because I'm consistently making a ton of money by alt rolling flasks and it never takes more than about a minute to roll a flask to sell. And then it sells for like 40 chaos.
much clutter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've had that problem too. Hmm. Let me on there. I have any tower in our small private league. Now I want to try Archmage with it. With the benefits of various lightning spell combos. I've never done Archmage, and Archmage has changed a lot. I have no idea. What are you looking for when you roll flasks? So when I roll flasks, I never look for anything. I buy the flasks I want and I roll flasks for anything usable for anyone. So like even that, that'll probably sell for either 40 or 20 chaos. Car speed, increased effect, huge. That'll sell for 44C. I just drop it in. I roll it for anything that I think will be useful for anyone and then drop it in a dump tab. And a whole bunch of them sell and then i just i use their money to just buy the flasks that have the mods i want on them otherwise you spend hundreds and hundreds of alts looking for the exact things that you need and you roll over stuff that's worth money to other people I don't even quality the bitches. That's someone else's problem. They can quality it. <laughs> I just I just pick up flasks and roll them and drop them in dump tabs. And many of them sell. What item level flasks? Usually anything from like red maps. That's me. Hey, mine has a DD corpses still. It doesn't matter. Both of us desecrating is the same thing. You've added all of them to the pool in this hideout. Take the warp room, you have more room over there. I will also desecrate your DD corpses because you're here. What's up? What does that mean? Yeah, I can give you a minute. Hang on. Hang on. I'll be back in just a second.
Sorry about that. I have a 4% life max implicit on my six link covenant. I just think that's worth, I have no idea, but I'd just wear it. How can I grab the specters? They'll still be here. You can just desecrate. They will. They will still be there. You just. You're just. You've just polluted the pool with all of your specters. They have to still be here, though. There's a spectral leader. There's a pale sephirim and there's an arena master. They're all they're all still here. You just polluted the pool, so it's a lot harder to get them. Magic class is still, still showing. Yeah. Up with it for now. Why does every fucking expedition have immune to my alpha element in the riddle and I'm running the alpha and I'm a node? Yeah. That's the thing.
god damn. So many goddamn chests. What are you running for all those chests? Just fucking a bajillion ambush scabs. Just ambush, 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 ambush. Nothing but ambush. Okay. Oh, the strong works nodes. Yep, they do. Thing, is it okay? Yes, we have to cast taste and it's like a temporary aura. That's what the divine blessing is for. Will this build work good as CI? Nope. Skills have a life cost equal to 100% of the mana cost. It literally costs you life. You have to have life. Just spawn one blight poor map. Uh there definitely used to be ways to spawn more than one blight per map. I don't know if there still is. Sadly, one is all we get now. Hmm. Nice latency. It'd be fantastic if we could get this latency fixed, to be honest. Like the, the lag spikes and shit. It'd be actually fantastic to have that fixed.
I'd like Soul Leader removed from the game. <laughs> yeah, I thought they nerfed Soul Leader. They actually made it fucking insane. I guess hey, it's so good. much harder than it was to kill them now. <laughs> to make Sully the harder we need to just run and come back a few seconds later so yes except for the times where you can't do that like if they um like if the mob itself is say the burial chambers boss who spawns their own ads Urban has 120% movement speed on it from Necropolis and it's faster than you are. Yep, that as well. With the perfect B, exclamation mark, Spectre. Those. I wonder if any of these tattoos are like worth anything at all. Like, can I peewee ninja tattoos and see if any of them are worth money? Like, I can't just check every tattoo, man. Ah, tattoos. I can peewee ninja tattoos. Okay, so some of them are worth money. From like from like here up poison effective mark reduced effective crit ignite chance minions have max life herald buff warcry cooldown flask effect duration blind enemies on hit movement speed chaos res and suppress okay So when you say 10% increased stun threshold, what does that mean? And are any of these omens worth money? Ooh, yes. I mean, not many. Blanching and jewelers are worth some money. Connections, 3 div, fortunes, 14, and the rest of them are trash. Okay. We can't run monsters cannot be leached from with bone barrier. We can. We can run monsters cannot be leached from or 
cannot regen but you can't run them both together because we have a lot of regen and we have enough leech so you can run either one of those maps and then you've just given up some of your recovery but if it's a combination then you have no recovery so you can't run them together Ooh. Animate guardians per gem. Nope, it's like a hidden inventory you can't see on your own character. You can take the gem out, you can swap it for another one, you can put it back in, you can put it in a different slot. As long as your animate guardian doesn't die, you'll just be able to resummon him with all this gear on him. If he dies, then he's gone. You do not need another set of gear. You can change gems and everything. You can just pull out your animate guardian, put in a new animate guardian of smiting and just resummon him as long as he hasn't died. If he dies, all his gear is gone. You need a new set of gear. Okay. I got a bacon and egg sandwich. But for some reason, he cut it like this. And hear me out when I say this. Just stay with me. If you cut a sandwich diagonally, there's more sandwich. If you cut it like this, then you have less sandwich. I know that that doesn't make sense, but that doesn't make it not true. Are you okay? Are you telling me that you think there's the same amount of sandwich when you cut it in the middle? Because I'm telling you, just if you if you diagonally cut a sandwich, there's more sandwich. It's not just more, it also tastes better. It does. It does. There's more sandwich and it tastes better if you cut it diagonally. Can you believe I made it till over 30 before I found out I was autistic? found out let's be honest we all kind of had suspicions the whole time no no all of my good friends knew the whole time since i was a teenager and nobody even told me i didn't know i didn't have any suspicions We thought it was obvious and you knew. Yeah, we didn't want to bring it up because that would be impolite. Fuck off. A wrestler I like wrote a whole chapter in his autobiography about how to properly cut the sandwich. <laughs> Hilarious, his charts and everything. Did you say that the correct way to cut a sandwich is diagonally? 
because it is. Also, I swear I'm not that picky about food. Uh-huh. Sure. Sure you're not. Price check? I don't know. A lot? Just me or is Soul Eater even scarier now? Soul Eater is even scarier now. Ah, some basic boots. Nice. Damn it. I have egg on my hands. We'll be back in a second. Um, I don't have breach on my map. Interesting. I also got a portal gem earlier. It didn't even occur to me that that's not supposed to happen. Is that supposed to happen? I got one out of a chest. Oh, maybe they come out of chests. post-switch melted her no comparison i don't know what you were doing wrong with dd but it's like widely accepted as one of the strongest league start things like people are killing i don't know what you did wrong with that i, I don't know anything about the build so Twenty one plus two for the helmet died in the first pack in the two thirteen elephant <laughs> instantly melted. Uh yeah, I don't know about tier seventeens, eh? Um I don't know about I don't know about bringing the anime guardian into tier seventeens. Everyone I've ran so far has also died and not just died but like incredibly quick.
that'll do. I reckon we're gonna patch soon. I was thinking they drop one by the end of the day, but it's 3 p.m. New Zealand time. I was half expecting there to be some patch today. Definitely not with everything in it, but with like one or two things from their list in it. But we didn't get told we would. That was just me thinking, I bet there'll be one tomorrow. Which I bet like everyone was hoping for, but we didn't really get told anything. I think the flesh and flame are worth the extra ascendancy nodes. Um, probably. But what I'm more interested in than flesh and than um than the other uh, necro node is the occultist node for minus twenty chaos res cannot regen. The fact that I can fit that into my build now might be real big. It was a big struggle to fit before and now it's not. Struggle with the necro node? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just m a little more interested in the occultist node. more damage more better and also stop them from regening more better uh, no that doesn't work it doesn't do anything i have it because i had like two things i had like two bits of currency to throw something on and i just throw on whatever whatever i had Still just working it out as we go.
reckon 20 Val Orbs came out of that one map. That's nice. In terms of Uber investment, would an original sin be good for this? Nope, only affects us, not minions. Original sin does nothing. Get your magic find characters ready. Hey. I paradigms. Thank you very much to Prime. I'm real tempted to go do this one shaper I have to get my last Uber Elder fragment and then just go kill the Uber Elder to get my favorite unlocked. I should really do that and feared while I'm still on a bossing character because who knows if I ever make another character who's capable of bossing. I might never make another character who's capable of bossing this league. When you choose a map device, have to see there. Is it supposed to open even if you close it to X? I wish it didn't, but yes. Ambush scarabs are 8C in bulk now. I'm not sure that they're worth 8C. Until the boss damage, okay. Uh, so one. They aren't next strat time. <laughs> yeah, that, that's they're not. This is not like this isn't drowning me in divines or anything. Like it's a lot of bubblegum currency, and I'm I'm actually pretty happy to have done it because now I've got like fuses and chances and alks and scours and val orbs and all of those sort of things. But like. And the video today had gone up. Fucking did Grim do a box strat as well? Is that what happened? <sighs> Fucking anything grim touches is instantly not worth doing anymore like that's just how it is not because he's bad like he's he does a good job it's just that he puts a video out on it and then 600 million people join in and then you're like oh well that's not profitable anymore I've seen like four Harbinger videos already, so I can't imagine Harbingers are worth running either anymore because I've seen four videos on them, right? All right, 14 stack decks, go. Meh. 
All right, what else is there? Um, there's a bunch of map bosses get as it's snowed. We're gonna do some time shit. I am. else could be worth money this is an interesting time I'm tempted to sell off the rest of my box scarabs and switch stats. I'm tempted to re-roll because I'm sad about my leech not working and it was like the whole thing. Incoming lightning arrow? Nah, I really want to... I, I feel I, this this is gonna sound this sounds stupid I want to I think I just want to be chief to RF it's just so much fun Did you get the fist mark sold on vice? I bought a carry. It's not an exploration. Passing on a tree. Exploration is I don't know what that means. Is that You still use melee physical support while wearing the red covenant. You shouldn't. You should use elemental damage with attacks instead. The node to make map bosses have wild blood wisps there are fewer than 50 mobs left oh that one uh it was pretty good if you could handle it if if you could handle it it was great
Thinking about what else I could do. Thinking about what else I could do. When my starter made an LA dead, I had no idea of what to farm. It, it feels like there's such a scarcity of the correct scarabs because there are so many that you can't buy any scarab in bulk at a reasonable price right now. There needs to be... Okay. No, okay. All right. So that's the problem. Problem is there aren't enough scarabs on the market. The problem is there are not enough scarabs on the market to sell in bulk. So then if that's the issue and that's the issue for every single farming strategy we've come up against, then what we need to do is generate scarabs. That needs to be our only goal. Right? If the problem is nobody can bulk buy scarabs and they're all overpriced because no one has enough of them, then the logical thing is how do we get the most amount of scarabs, right? Isn't that... Isn't that the play? Are you telling me Blight drops a shitload of scarabs? Blighted maps or getting Blights in our map? I know, please don't do us a grimo. I mean, well, first of all, lights work really well for poison SRS, it's good at it. And second, the thing about Blight is it should remain money even if a hundred people started doing it today because every single time a new Atlas strategy comes out it's going to need Scarabs no matter what and those Scarabs are just going to change. Grim puts out three more videos with three more stats and all those Scarabs go up in price. We need to be generating them. Someone shut this purple fucker off for fuck's sake. <laughs> um, the question is, do I really want to run blighted mats? I guess the better question is, do I have to run blighted maps? Or can some people be running blighted maps and other people be collecting the blighted maps to run? Excuse me.
because because everything other than toxic sewer is that's true so we're ruling we're basically stopping not all of but most of our tier 17s from dropping if we do that as well Doesn't, yeah, doesn't singular focus eat blighted maps as well? I'm pretty sure singular focus eats blighted maps as well. I mean, that... A tree for scarabs, just need to unlock the points. The spell tree, which is the connected map, I favorite. I mean, you should definitely have favorited dunes and sold them to all the dead eyes. I think if you're following that's one favorite no, no, no it has more effect the more times you put the favorite on okay one thing i can say for sure is that what i'm currently doing is fantastic experience Where are you, Patch? We're not getting any younger. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be soon. I mean, there might, there could still be one today. There's still a few hours worth of time left in our day where we could get one today. You're still using leech? Yes. I am still using it.
cushion. The drop damage from the SRS does not properly leech just the initial hit. Just the initial hit, correct. You cannot leech from damage over time. Wish you could. Me too. Too much clutter. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna carry if we got to turn it off and the boss ate it. I waited in grace for mine. Doesn't this mess look at the covenant united in dream or the guide? But see, you have good clear speed. I don't. What am I missing? <laughs> okay, so I'm doing a thing that's a little bit. Uh, what's the best way to say it? Risky? In order to get even better clear speed than normal. I'm using an animate guardian of smiting so that he does the explode pops far away from him and doesn't have to get into melee. Uh, the problem with that is the animate guardian of smiting does not have the 38% more HP modifier on it. So if you do that, he is squishy and he might die. So that's why you see all the explosions. There's way more explosions because of that. Yeah, Guardian. I don't have a Kingmaker on, and to be honest, I wouldn't put a Kingmaker on while I'm using Anime Guardian of Smiting. Just at all. Guardian, I mean, he doesn't deal really any damage, he just hits more of the screen with his curse, and that makes the explosions happen. Yeah, yeah. Do you think you can die on normal maps? I mean, my animate guardian never dies. But people already come to me being like, man, my guardian died three times today and they're using the regular ones. So like, I'm not, I'm certainly not about to tell people to use with animate guardian of smiting. It's because their regular animate guardians are already dying. So <laughs> I'll use it. And if you want to use it, that's on you, but you are risking his death.
I guess the other thing worth thinking about that I'm not selling right now, but probably should be, is I'm definitely getting more all flames right now with this and this. And that's something worth considering. I mean, Guardians, why you don't use it? Uh, I mean, it gives it 40% minion movement speed, which would be great. But it's so much money to buy a bunch of GCPs right now because you can't flip gems anymore. Other mind ever matter. Is there anything else I would need to turn on? Uh, you'll need to get real good at using at making sure your bone offering stays up. If you're the bone offering kind, if you're the glancing blow kind, then it's fine. Any theory on why other people's anime guardians are dying though? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know what the nice way to say it is. Skill issue? Like he's linked to meat shield, he'll follow you. He'll follow you and he'll do it relatively quickly. So um, don't stand in shit and don't stand near shit. So that he also doesn't stand near shit. Yes. Yes, I am. E Scient training. Increase my spectre cap, uh, death attunement, anoint, or level 25 gem. Hold on. I wonder if a car, I wonder if slipping in like one cartography scarab is like worth it. Half of me wishes there was a scarab to drop more scarabs.
like a scarab scarab The new specter is he worth I think so Skittering Scarab. Yep. Oh. 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 Excuse me. Doink. What's this? <clears throat> Working on. Planning on releasing later today. Yo! Patch Noble contain improvements to a couple of area map and gameplay, improve grave crafting, blah blah blah. So the itemizing stuff, the base uh, all in one, what the fuck? The downsides now to playing the things, added 12 new all flames. Anarchy, False God, Ember Manifest Wealth, Syndicate Researchers, Syndicate Assistant. Uh, blah 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 right so a whole bunch of new ones that we just have to play with yo this is way more than i was thinking would come on day one what the fuck is happening this is the drop rate of all flames at all levels Mm, grave crafts that affect the modifiers have been compressed so they're compressing all of those as well all the tears have been removed hey what i what i miss is this the whole fucking thing i thought this was going to be spread out over a whole week We've also buffed the following Gravecraft. Reforged socket is 200 times. Links 200 times. 20% chance to craft an additional item. 25% mirrored copies. Devoted modifiers that provided a chance to convert a type of item to a specific items have had their values increased. Devoted modifiers applied stronger pollux chance to do something. Now I only have one tier, providing a 100% chance. Cool. Any devoted modifiers that have multiple tier no longer have the lowest tier modifier appearing in maps. Cool. Haunted modifiers that cause monsters hits to critical strike. Amplified 50 instead of 200 up to 100 instead of 300 okay that's quite a bit better chance to freeze now provides 20 percent at tier 3 instead of 100 good want to modify as it them to stun also lowered yep cool Auto modifiers that provide 100% chance to reflect hexes and non damaging ailments have been removed. <laughs> this wasn't an issue for me, but whoever put this in to begin with is sadistic as fuck. I, that was, it wasn't an issue for my build, but I understand why that got removed. <laughs> That's fucked up, is what that is. <laughs> It wasn't an issue for me, but I see why it was causing a problem. New flash charges now. So... Oh, that's good. I like that. Instead of removing flash charges, they just don't give charges. That's better. More damage reach remaining alive. Sure. Remove that. 
Physical is extra random or extra as and pen. Down to 10% instead of 20. Increase the amount of breach, legion, omens, tainted currencies, and hoarded modifiers. Uh, is now less likely to have high valued uniques to offer in map areas under level 81. Cool. Good. Force people into the high maps. Photo Pursuit Atlas node. There's 30% increased chance for devoted modifiers previously. 20? Sure. Did they fix bone armor? I don't think this is a bug patch thing, but we'll get we'll get there in a second. Another modifiers are crafting a single modifier condensed. I'm just doing a quick pass over them. We'll have to have like a good look at things in just a second. Remember the fear. Increases in reduction to haunted modifiers no longer affect devoted modifiers. Interesting. Haunted modifiers on any map icon for nameless sea is now displayed at a higher distance. Sure. Maps will no longer be opened when closing the lantern interface. It will only be opened upon hearing enter, allowing you to do something else. Use an all flame that might have been in your stash instead of opening the map immediately. This is good. This was annoying. I would like hit escape to trade with someone and it would launch my map that I wasn't done setting up. I like that. Yeah, you have to maybe you have to go buy a meat sack or something like yeah, that's good. Now sorted by craft. Cool. Inventory is no longer closed upon using the thing. Cool. Control F is in. Sure. You can now control click to cremate a corpse, skipping the prompt. Cool. The UI for corpse collecting is now less likely to overlap with other available corpses. Sure. To drop always. Cool. Tier 70 maps can now be modified by Chaos Orbs. That's a good change, actually. I like that. That was a thing I saw suggested a lot. Like, yes, you want them to be hard. You don't want us to be able to, like, run blue ones and whatnot or, like, transmute them or run them white. But, like, just let us chaos spam them. That's cool. Mm, we've also added various divination cards that can be found in the in order to provide more choice in which to farm despite only just moving the void divination card drop to shaper elder and maven tier 17 maps are a better home as such the void is now only found in abomination citadel fortress sanctuary right all of those and no longer drops from shaper elder or maven it's all right um shaper elder and maven were already very cheap especially maven maven's worthless now somehow it's so cheap to buy mavens. I don't... I guess Uber Maven is the thing now. So, fair enough. Honestly, if I think about it, Maven was probably always cheap, right? The price of the Maven stones was based around Uber Maven, not Maven. The artist divination card can now be found in those two. Okay. Shield Baron, Wealth and Power, Dragon's Heart and Cheaters in Fortress, sure. Bug fixes! Animation canceling we locked into an animation. Fixed a bug where essence of misery drawn scored an MB could not be transformed into. Good. Fixed a bug with a life leech from the damage march. Ooh, fixed a bug with a life leech from the minion damage granted by Necromancer's Bone Armor. Passive skill was being applied at one tenth its value. Oh, please let that go. That's this is today. This is today. So it's currently leaching not one percent, but zero point one percent. Which explains why instant leech wasn't working because it's not 10% of the 1%, it's 10% of the 0 
of course instant leech didn't appear to work it didn't have any damage value to go on <laughs> <laughs> it didn't it didn't have any value it was it means instant leech was technically working but you were probably getting two to three flat life instead of 30 flat life per hit you were getting three and it just wasn't noticeable at all <laughs> fixed a bug with the side bosses but sure Ritual reward could sometimes be undeferable. Fixed above where map modifier affects the atlas. Sure. Sure. Old art things. Old art things. Supposed in two years of time. Uh, fixed a bug where solar and devices were not updating. Fix some instant crashes. Fix some client crashes. Okay. Some good shit in here. We're planning on releasing later today. All right, well, I'm fucking ready to try that. Also, later today, it's like 3 p.m. there already. That later today has almost certainly got to be in the next three hours or so. Otherwise, you fucking run out of day. almost four okay it's gonna be in the next two hours or so otherwise you're gonna run out of day the day goes to 11 59 p.m yeah but they don't like it's not that it's never happened it could happen but they don't normally like work that late and they don't normally like overwork their employees and shit like it's not that it never happens. We've had patches before where it was like fucking midnight in, in Auckland and they've launched a patch. But those those are usually, I would think, uh, more emergency situations. Bob. Bob's our animate guardian. It's a back to basics or a pure. Is back to basics a dead node? I think back to basics is a dead node. can we drop mom in poison srs drop mom we don't pick up mom unless we're using the aegis aurora attack and if we're doing that never because that's the whole point of aegis aurora especially if you can't um stop yourself from standing in things you you might not want to use the aegis aurora attack so basically the aegis aurora attack gives you a way 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 larger than any other tech 
a single hit you can take because you take 40% of the damage over here instead. So it is like an anti one shot. But you got to be careful about where you stand. You can't stand on burning ground, caustic ground. You don't want to have bleeds and degens on you, that sort of thing. It's a lot more of a problem for those things. So to play with Aegis Aurora, you need to be better at not standing in shit. Composite building C that I use a covenant. Yes. Yes. You don't need to put it in. Composite building will account for it automatically. Uh, Necro leech plug. Will feel noticeable or was it already fixed before now? It is not fixed. It'll be fixed in a patch hopefully today. Well, they, they said today. Also, what I thought was happening was that the instant leech wasn't working. But what's actually happening is that instead of 1% of the damage leached, it's 0.1% of the damage leached. Which is still meant we're getting some leech, which is where my recovery is coming from, which is also why I can still do you cannot regen maps. But when you take 10% of 0.1% leech and make it instant, it's an un almost unnoticeable amount. But if we take 10 times that value, it might be great. Occurring is it because of the block? Well, you can be stunned once because of here, but yes, it's probably because of the block. Trigger Vista testing and maybe a nice leech. Yep. We've seen the patch notes. I have. I have and I'm excited about them. However, the patch isn't in yet. So we've still got to wait. Uh, Rerolling tier 17s too. Yeah. Rerolling tier 17s as well. I got these from a div card. You should probably not put them on your animate guardian. They're probably worth more. They're probably worth. Well, apparently they're not. Yeah. The patch notes reveal a new strat for money making. Fucking maybe. Have we gone for a walk today? No. Good call.
Beautiful. I don't even know what eight ounces looks like. You're gonna use an Aminamaru's gaze eventually, yeah. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in one second.
fucking ready for this patch now I'm ready I'm ready for this patch now you're ready it's just not here all right all right beep we're going on a little walk Just having a little set of regular zombie. Uh, I mean, you can. I did because we hit one while leveling. Didn't really, didn't really notice the difference at all. To be, to be honest. Best way to gear up. Just to farm until I have enough cast to buy different rares. Yep. Yep. And did divine suddenly spike? Oh. Boom. Eh, 140. They're going up slowly. Shit, were you? Oh, that thing, it's worthless, right? I would literally forgotten what that was. That's how bad that item is. Like the third new spectre you're trying um i like him enough to keep him as a third spectre but i'm not super super excited like he's okay what does he do well he summons his own srs but those are pretty useless but he's basically got the harbinger belt on see that aura around him it's a 20 percent action speed buff that's the main thing worth it over the war collar i think so is it only 10 percent i think it's 20 but maybe it's 10 could be right
Oof. Oof. Is he walking while playing? Yep, his desk has wheels. <laughs> yes, I am. Do you see they're fixing the minion leech button? I did. realize with bone offering and block without dancing bows do you think i should drop it if you're using bone offering and it's affecting you you should never have had glancing blows absolutely can you just jump in your hide out for speckles in the guild yes yes you can Shinika Barbie the sword probably the baby version of the sword would be the best Okay. Let's see this. Yes. Yes, it did. Everyone gets to car 1400 weapons soon, right? How much do I have? Damn it. It's not enough. Need to find like another 10 div item on the floor. Can't believe the bugs are getting fixed ASAP. I'm not super surprised the bugs are getting fixed real quick. But I'm super surprised that, um, I'm super, super surprised that so much is involved in this patch after one day. I was expecting that list to be like spread over the week. I like guess just, it's just a lot. I'm done the corner. Yeah, it happens when I'm on the treadmill. When is the patch? Today. 
hasn't happened yet, but it has to be in the next few hours. Like it's that's so damn quick to be addressing like fucking everything. It's so damn quick. Ooh. Are those worth anything? Yeah, they're worth something. Not 803, just 80, thanks. Cool winds. You tell me I should do a 10 second sprint? Mm, no, thank you. This treadmill isn't for me to be punished. It's not meant to be something I don't enjoy doing. It's meant to be something I do every single day in order to get fitter. As soon as it becomes something I don't enjoy, for whatever reason, then it'll be a way harder struggle to continue to do it. It's just a casual walking pace. New Zealand workday so hopefully soon I'm sure somebody will say late yeah I, d I think it'll be relatively soon just because of what time it is Awesome taxes on items I'm seeing in path of building. No idea. That's of utmost importance. Yeah. I noticed grats oh, 
Oh, man. Mapping while walking on this thing is awkward. It is awkward. to be bossing though i don't think i would be bossing on this Come on, buddy. Every time I'm logging now, I'm hoping for the patch. Oh, we'll know. We'll know. When you drop a mirror but you haven't picked it up and the server's closed then you'll know true this was five years off i come in the guide very efficient well put together thank you nice i'm glad you're enjoying it oh and empower 
Huge. Pre-corrupted. I was like, yeah, oh, oh, pre-corrupted. Rip. Ah, uh -huh. I forgot about that little tidbit. I forgot about that. Mistress of Sacrifice until we just swap at Uber Lab. Um, I actually just never took Mistress of Sacrifice this run. So, yeah. Instant Leech work now. Uh, the patch hasn't actually hit, but it should. What the fuck? Oh, over here. Uh, there it is. Notice they didn't fix it. I did notice that, yeah. Oh. Oh, the social series shield raw Devon on her memory. Nice. fixed my next build's gonna use it mine too chieftain though
deal with VD. Uh, currently, Volatile Dead of Seething when it dies procs on death effects. Gives you rampage stacks and all sorts of things. When you, like, life on kill. Everything. Like it's a mob dying. It's almost certainly a bug. It's not in their patch note, though. Is a multi mod craft? I think so. Yes, I do. It's two divines. Could be busted. Oh no, it's 100% busted. It's just I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it's a bug. Are you aware that that's a cold damage essence with a tyrannical fizz roll instead of a physical essence? Before I throw this on. Yes, good for frost blades. Oh, I know. I just, most people are with the fizz. I was just, I was just making sure. It just I've not done frost blades before and when I looked at it it looked weird to me and I thought that's worth double checking <laughs> that's 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 worth checking on Oh man. Alright, that's half an hour. I'm gonna stop walking. 30 minutes of walking is fine. Beep. Whew. Well, on the bright side, I'm not dizzy as fuck like yesterday because I've eaten food today. So Alright, much better. Strongest monster in the pack gets dropped armor as a 50% chance to convert to jewelry orbs. Fuck off. Okay, here's something else I wish would happen. 
plus one to tier of modifier this is the maximum tier of modifier already i wish that above the maximum that you could naturally roll the plus one would still go one higher it just feels like i, I want to put this here because it's my best one but it it doesn't do anything good on the bad mods too oh, i don't want to make the bad mods oh right that's right because there's an upside to those bad mods that just isn't displayed right now oh the patient it's displayed you just never read it is it displayed Always freeze. All damage can freeze. on the map device screen i'll fucking have a look when we launch our next map actually just says 404 <laughs> yeah you know, alva can spawn on top of your waypoint on top of a waypoint no i did not there every time okay she didn't have to but it was always there <laughs> yeah that was i was never doing that that's i'll concede that it was technically always there but also it wasn't there i'm also not wrong at the same time I was, I was never doing that.
Things are coming out of the box track that I don't have to buy on makings to get my next tree. I'm still doing the box strap for now. Till I think of what I want to do next. Uh, releasing later today. Yep. Every minute is next to supplying it a tenth of its value. Yes. Yes. Which explains why we couldn't feel instant leech working at all. My assumption was that instant leech didn't work. But it wasn't that instant leech didn't work. It's that we were leeching such a small amount that we were instant leeching probably one to three life per hit instead of 30 life per hit. Which adds up a fucking lot. Uh, the fact that we felt the least as we did despite the fact that it was 10% of what it was supposed to be so here's the thing we're still going to be reaching leech cap I don't think that we get more leech like I don't I think we were already able to leech cap because you can only leech so much it's the instant portion that I think uh is much different now because before we, we, we weren't we weren't hitting enough to be able to do the instant however with that in mind that it's fixed now or about to be is instant leech instant cap separate well instant leech doesn't have a cap the instant part itself Wait, when did you get a fucking uh, completely missed that? Like eight seconds ago. Yeah. Likely gonna hate my life for about to run Grandmaster. Why? It's 
fair. It's not on the map device though. And those forbiddens are 25 div already. So forbiddens are probably going to be relatively expensive, but it's important if you look for them to know that you don't need to pick up the one that I'm wearing. You can use this one or this one or this one or this one, whatever's the cheapest. If there are any available, there aren't enough available for everyone, by the way. It's only day three. More will go on the market, but there is not enough available. Block one was killing Bob. This? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll happen. There's also like an argument that you could use Plague Bringer because we do consume corpses. It would give you and your minions 30% increased area of effect with at least one nearby corpse, which we always do because of Desecrate. 10% more damage and they deal 10% less. Like that's usable too. Mm, essence, not so much. It's just 8% of our maximum energy shield over two seconds, which is only like 4% a second. It gives mana regen, which we don't need. And 8% of our like 1200 ish ES is, is not really a lot. Plague bring is an option. I also think, hang on. I also think void beacon is an option. I think that's pretty much it though. I don't really want the golem ones. I don't really want primordial ages or anything. These are to sell in the headhunter. Nice. I'd have to change too much around to go full block cap right now. Right now I'm keeping flesh offering. Can't run that one. Can't run that one. Can run that. Can run that. I took grave intentions. Make the minions much tankier. That's this one right here, right? No. Fuck is grave intentions again? that one they've already got 40% of their life as ES I guess that's 60% and some extra chaos yeah I can see it being usable but I don't know if I'd travel there pausing there feels a bit awkward 
the thing about parving parving there is that it takes extra points and we're right next to this one which also makes them way tankier No minions already fully res capped. It's the physical damage reduction that's more important than the resistance by a long shot. It is almost exclusively physical damage that ever kills your animate guardian. Almost exclusively. In time. So the ones will it work for both auras? Yes, but how could you fit both auras on? Put on the top right. The only way to get instant leech. Uh, it's the only way accessible to us. disagree it's always medias what the kill animate guardians are you saying it's always medias that kill animate guardians is that what you're saying Trying to find How do you find X Arch Altus?
Push the steering and clutch modifiers. Does it not say? It doesn't say it's damage time. I know it's at least half fire. Uh, create on flask use <laughs> Don't have tags or anything. I know it's at least half fire, but I don't know if it's hybrid chaos or hybrid fizz or I think I remember it being fire fizz But i'm not sure and I just that's why I wanted to look it up, but it doesn't appear to be there UEDB you have it Meteor I mean it also doesn't say anything though Oh, control shift T. Mm. Meat. Nope. Shield of blocks more than just fears be better than physical damage reduction in case by case basis You can make a good argument for that. Absolutely. If it's a one single hit What if they were standing in a degen and then they walked over burning ground and they got hit four six eight twelve times and they get ignited and They haven't had a time to regen their energy shield no matter how much they've got well, you just don't have that energy shield. It doesn't matter that you've got the extra there. The energy shield for them is very good one shot protection so long as they've taken no damage in the previous four seconds. It also doesn't affect bleed. Burning ground family affect minions as well. Nope. Just us. Um, if you ever wonder if anything affects minions as well, the answer is always no. It literally has to say minion on it. We don't get the power from the Nico nodes. We don't get the power from the shrines. We don't get anything. If it doesn't say minion, it doesn't work. And nothing says minions. <laughs> Minion stability is passion happen to be um nice Yeah 
Even the malevolence ones are like 25 div. Apparently there are no hastes. I don't know if they're also 25. Nice. Holy shit, Forbidden Tones are like 40c for individual ones now. What is that? Maybe I should try 45 or 50 spammed at 40 earlier well they were one of them was in a 44c dump tab and it hadn't sold yet my currency tab was inflated <laughs> right right hmm leech energy shield instead of life I cannot recharge energy shield and then I have a feel about that Is the leech nodes good again? It should do, yes. We'll have to test it, but yes, that should be a solution. It should be very good, actually. It should, in theory, be the recovery I was originally hoping for. As they don't move the decimal point the wrong way and it ends up being 0.01% leech I wonder if that bug is actually that simple I wonder if that bug is actually that simple like literally the person who wrote in the number put the decimal place in the wrong point and that's it like it has to be right like, it just has to be that simple. That at least is interesting sort of ready. I doubt it was as simple as a box that says minions leech amount. No, I think it was because Baron already existed. Like the code to make minions leech to you already existed. 
so it was just turned from zombies to everything and then put in there like I'd, it's so it'd be so fucking easy to just put the decimal point in the wrong place like that's it My leech is getting better and the energy cable is getting bugged. Well, it's apparently it is 0.1% leech right now rather than 1% leech. And that should be getting fixed today. And that should make it so that the instant leech node works. Or perhaps more appropriately, the instant leech node was technically always working. It's just that the amount of leech that was happening from each individual hit wasn't high enough for the instant leech to be noticed. Huh. was a lot more responsive at 10 times the amount and it got much easier yup that plus instant working should help a fucking lot I need more mana. so I think this morning I was thinking about re-rolling because it just the leech wasn't doing the thing that I was like real excited for it just wasn't working and I was thinking about re-rolling this morning I just I didn't have a world in my head where with everything they were working on like everything would just like happen on day one of the being back in the office <laughs> a patch note is so fucking long and the everything we're working on thing I thought it was going to take the whole week I was like I wonder what we'll get first I didn't think there would be just one patch that was like yeah, and here's everything we were working on by the way You were saying you wanted to reroll because it wasn't working while I was sitting here staring at these patch notes and you were not allowed to tell me. <laughs> How mad would you have been if you watched me sell off gear getting ready to go into a reroll while you were sitting there <laughs> staring at those things unable to do anything about it? <laughs> Maybe mad's the wrong word. I think frustrated. Frustrated. I think he would have been frustrated. I would have giggled. Ah, I think you would have giggled a bit, but I reckon you would have been frustrated. Knowing it was coming and not being able to do anything about it and just sit there watching me get rid of all my gear. I likely would have asked if I could just leak it there. That was a great answer. I now will write a mighty poem. Oh, I 
I can leak what, what time the patch is happening. I don't need Blakey for that. I can leak what time the patch is happening. Um, it's happening as soon as they're ready to deploy it. If the whole thing was ready right now, we'd already have the patch. I, I'm not kidding. That's the real answer. It'll, it'll be it'll be deployed as soon as it's finished. Uh, it will probably be today. So I don't know the specifics of how this stuff works because not a programmer. But I do know that even once you're finished doing all of the like individual patches and bug fixes and changes to the mechanics and like everything that they're doing, even when it's all done and functional, your job isn't over because deploying it into live servers even when everything already works is its own thing like it's 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 its own new thing that has to happen And it's still not guaranteed to work. See? Exactly. Even once everything works on your internal stuff, deploying it on live is a new thing, and that might cause other problems again. You never know. Sometimes it does. Usually it doesn't. Sometimes it does. Imagine, imagine an entire office full of gamers all literally working exactly nine to five. <laughs> imagine how crazy that would be. Like the whole place walks in at nine and everybody leaves at five. Could you imagine? I've decided I don't care about my tier. Um, if I lose tier 17 maps, I lose tier 17 maps. I can't fucking hit. I can't take it anymore. But I have to point out, Kingmaker isn't giga highlighted. As it shouldn't be, it can never, ever, ever drop in the ground. The only way a Kingmaker can land on the ground is if you buy one or craft it together and then drop it on the floor. 
And if you drop it on the floor and you forget to hit alt, that's your fault. <laughs> it's a vendor recipe item only. Kingmaker might not be the players leave with tier 7 maps being so rippy. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't believe that there's any world in which we bring the animate guardian into tier 17 maps. Just like looking at what I've already seen so far. I, I don't think I'm ever doing that. I don't. I, I just don't think it's happening. <laughs> I don't think Bob comes into tier 17 maps. Uh, we would need old minion scaling back from several years ago. Um, okay. Now. Cemetery, where are you? Do I want to do cemetery or do I go home? Oh, Crimson Township is a map now, actually. That's right. Hmm. Crimson Temple is next to what? Nothing I care about. I guess I'll grab cage. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Those three should be enough that I get my cemeteries. You changing the strats? No, just well, sort of a little bit. Um, I've just decided I fucking hate running multiple maps. I'm just going to cemetery and taking singular focus. And if I lose tier 17 maps, then so fucking be it.
chance of getting more than I did. Yeah, I don't know. 20 each, how often do they drop? I mean, I've got quite a few, but they're also not 20 each. One of them is like 70 C a map. See a lot of amount so quickly people will buy higher. Great Bob. Sort of up to you, isn't it? The artist card is going to spike in price. After. What does the artist card do again? I don't even know what it does. Actually. Dead man's locker is overflowing. A strat I'm um, just a lot of strong boxes all of the strong boxes just add a bajillion of them brothers stash wrong brothers card but I'll take two of them wait yeah yeah, it's the wrong one, but I'll take two. How's he running for this? Just ambush. Literally just ambush scarabs. A Kruger. Think of becoming a YouTube member. You'll see a notification at some point. I don't know why they're so slow, but they are. Too much clutter. There it is. Told you to come through. I'm bribing you in hopes 
Are you can be using a boom very fix this now it's uh great uh well i mean it should be great and it should re-enable the instant leech which it also leads me to believe that the instant leech has been working this whole time it just was such a small amount that it was unnoticeable by the player I'll tell you what they didn't do they didn't make this goddamn stash any bigger Are all flames filterable or are we stuck? No, they are filterable. Which does mean we'll be able to turn most of them off. But with them rebalancing them all right now, we can't really turn them off yet. Because we don't know what the fuck is going to be worth. Stuck and I don't know what to farm. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. should be the same size as it is now but with a separate tab for each type of all flame i could get behind that like the heist locker is like set up like the heist locker is where it's like not necessarily a super high amount of storage for each individual thing but everything has a different place that'd be cool ambush provides five more boxes but it is limit four so 5 10 15 20 and then ambush for another 5 25 plus whatever's on my atlas tree can't imagine that being worth it but 30 see a scarab
Give me a moment. Okay, 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, something to eat, eat and watch an anime. Yeah. I'm missing not playing your minion build. I'm missing. I'm not playing your minion build, but I have a 5 2 plus anime guardian died. Got a level 21 empower and meat shield on it. Attack the buzzer stuff, but died to a deep mini box. And the DD is almost off screen. Yeah, no, Meat Shield is good. It might make them taunt stuff, but it also makes them take literally 30% less damage and also be next to you. Like, try to try to catch you, at least try to be next to you. So... Yeah, box DD can be an issue. Once again, wondering why clear so bad. Check I have multi strike in. Yep, that'll do it.
Ooh, okay. I gotta finish this map. Uh, what the fuck are you again? Oh, that one, right. Minion steel damage and physical slash chaos. But preferably chaos. Um, flat fizz is worth half as much. Because we're only converting half of it to... Um, we're only converting half of our flat damage to chaos. 30 minute patch, 25 now. Two divides! Manor. I'm rich and by rich I mean all my money belongs to pineapple <laughs> nice what are you doing with that thread do you want to share it are you gonna make a video on the farming strat if not I fucking will. What are you doing? I don't know what to farm. I'm just doing strong boxes right now. This one on because it drops. This is my belt. Oh, I want that. Dead man's locker is overflowing. Time yeah, I know. The locker's overflowing, I know. What? I gotta burn something. Uh let's see. Now's the time to empty all that shit. Uh, mine's actually just full of good stuff that I assume gets changed. I didn't actually check. Also burn the 200% speeds you got going. Hmm. Probably have to burn a lot of things. You're going to cut it. No. Uh, exclamation mark Bob. Maybe we should just get rid of the AG command. We haven't had a normal standard animate guardian in fucking years now. Maybe you just get maybe you just get rid of it and alias it to Bob, since that's always what people are looking for, right? Yep, cool. Thank you.
Ooh. Breach Scarab of the Dorima. When you're running for other setups. Uh. Why did you ding at me? What are you with? So like the moment we finish testing out this patch, we just have to do another, another YouTube video, right? Like instantly. I don't want to preemptively make it before we actually like see it work. But I'm not expecting problems. Now the question is, can I use any of these? I think I'm going to have to regear a little. Both of my rings are trash. My helmet's actually pretty good. My boots trash. My gloves are trash. I don't want to put this in. I'm going to have to do a little bit of a regear. That one's the best one. Because the movement speed. So I'll try and fit that one. I do love that one too, though. God, there are, those are all really good options. Pineapple out doing ourselves on rings again. <laughs> Those are all actually quite good. Do two and I can't play, replace because of attributes. <laughs> uh, it's not trash though, right? Because those attributes are insane. All right, got 20 minutes. I'm going to run this last map that I had prep. MF is saved. Yo! Oh, 16%. If only that was 20. Oops, clumsy me. I 
need more mana. This will do nicely, Exile. enough little mini shrines around here or what hey you know that um you pick up a hand when you run over it what about we pick up little mini shrines when we run over it is that too greedy that might be too greedy That feels maybe a little too greedy. Can't target them easily on a controller, so maybe not too greedy. Ooh. They just they're super awkward to click on with a mouse too but it's i don't i never know if that's like a real issue or a baylor's stupid issue because you know i'm bad at clicking on things to begin with so i never really know if it's like is this a problem other people have as well or, or is it just baylor can't click things because he's old and he can't aim his mouse One of the reasons I never use the gull. Uh, if you shit to click on. Okay, so not just me. That that doesn't make me less shit at clicking on things. It just means those are also shit to click on for other people. How do you rate this Brock strat? Eh, like mid tier. It's not really like. I'm not gonna earn my mage blood this way. Like. I am getting a lot of, um. Like mid tier currency though. Lots and lots of fuses, scours. You know. Um, regrets, unmakings, chaos. It'll solve your alk problem, that sort of thing. But like it's definitely not it's definitely not like a farmer mage blood strat or anything like that here's the thing though i'm basing that off the fact that when we bought them all they were three seer scarab last i heard they were seven seer scarab now i, I wouldn't pay that I'm doing the strat right now. I'm telling you, I would not pay seven C a scarab. I'd fucking, if they're still seven C a scarab, find yourself a different strat. When I run out of scarabs, I'll be looking for a different strat. I'm not paying seven C. Nope. Nope. You are kind of paying 7c because you could resell them. That is also true. Clutter. 
Leech incoming, let's go. Oh yeah. Like, look at my Alk Scours. I've actually got some now. So. How long we got? 10 minutes. Ten minutes. I mean, Resolute Technique and Fortify is cool. It's this weapon have 10% multi. Oh, so there's no base damage on this bitch at all. Enjoying the league. Uh, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I'm very excited for this patch. The one that's about to happen. That's going to save everything. You know, the way I said that made it sound like one of those memes of like, it's going to save everything, but like, it's legitimately good. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good, man. It makes it sound like a meme, but also like, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's going to save my marriage. No, that would be communication. Veiled Chaos Orb error on the filter again? Again? Like, that's not me. I can't do anything about that. It's not really on the filter. Like, it's not really there. That problem isn't real. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know what to do about it. You can even go and look at the text of the filter on the website. It tells you what line the error's in, and it's not there. But the line that's errant isn't there. And everyone else subscribed to it doesn't have the problem. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if it's something that Neversync has to fix or something that GDG has to fix. I have absolutely no idea. I, I don't... I can't fix it. I... <laughs> Five minutes. Five minutes. Actually, while we're here. So I'm going to drop that and this probably. 
And we're gonna take this back. Interesting. I said price had it her. Oh. Ooh. Um. I don't know. How many games do you get this excited for with patch drops? I mean, how many games do I get this excited for when the league launches? I'm more excited to play PoE this morning when I woke up three or four days into the league than I am about any league launch of any other game. So like, I mean, Are we about to pop off? Well, if I've done my math right, I'm about to gain 3,000 recovery per second. P4 PTR was pretty good today. I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less about the PTR for D4. That sounds like a D4 creator problem. Uh, are they fixing Instant Leech? Well, yes, but it turns out Instant Leech was never the problem. The problem is the normal Leech node was 0.1% instead of 1%, which means it was taking us way too long to ramp up to the cap anyway, and then having Instant Leech based on 10% of the 0.1% was so little amount of health that it was unnoticeable. Instead of 3,000 life per second, best case scenario, we were getting 300 life per second. But because of rounding, I think it was probably half of that. Instant Leech was probably giving me about 150 life per second, which was unnoticeable, considering I have 700 regen and another 900 normal Leech. Still using it or did you go back to mistress of sacrifice what if i said both <laughs> i'm doing both Am I late? If anything, you're a tiny bit early. There's a restart in two minutes. How much did that cost us? Um, 29 div, I think, for the set. And those last thing being fixed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One minute. We're going to test this bitch in one minute. Well. Uh, well. I mean, it goes down. It's going to go down on me in 20 seconds. And then 10 minutes for that to finish. And then we'll test it. Phrasing? I say phrasing like I didn't very intentionally phrase it exactly how I said. I said what I said. Wait. 
Does it not immediately start patching on Steam? I feel like you're supposed to have a patch, buddy. What do I do for 10 minutes now? Well, if you're not a streamer, I don't know, knock one out. We need bone barrier to test it. Yes, I've got bone barrier. Okay, but what do I do for the other nine minutes and 30 seconds? What do I do for the other nine minutes and 40 seconds? <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is restream bot? It's um showing you the chat from Twitch chat so that you can see all of the chat no matter where you are. So that YouTube people aren't just like isolated in a corner and forgot about. I'm so confused for a sec. They can, when it works, which is like 50% of the time, um, Twitch chat can also see you. Hey, it's patching. It's patching. Uh, let me check. Let's have a look. No, I'm still not up on Steam. That is a Steam patch. Uh, just one thing, Shads. Uh, I don't think this is the play. I think Deli Orbs are really good. And you've... Uh, you can collect deli orbs. You can't have deli orbs if you do this. They seem cheap as hell. Remember, you can change them all into the expensive one very, very cheaply. And then look for if you've got like 20 of them to sell at a time instead of one. They're pretty good. Uh, also, no and no. Also merging radius, huge. Even if we don't want that node, which we don't, merging radius, huge. I 
I'm gonna say yes. And then we log in. The server's probably aren't up yet. We just had a patch server. The servers were meant to be down for 10 minutes. We just had the patch happen, that's all. That's why I was looking at that tree instead of... Instead of rapidly trying to log in. We'll be trying out the changes. I've already respected into my instant leech. I just need to get into a map. Sometimes they're quicker than the 10 minutes. Me too. Are they fixing le leech with this one? Yep. Can I ask an ultra noob question? I believe in you. Um, must mean non curse auras have 50% increased duration. What duration? I thought auras were permanent. Uh, haste on my blessing and Val haste. Uh, all the people running Bone Barrier were only getting one tenth of our leech total. Yes. Which is why the instant leech felt like it did nothing. Because it was 10% of that. It was 10% of 10% of the leech we were supposed to have. Mooch as grassy as. After using a minion jewel stack. Yes, it does. And hopefully you want it on every jewel. Log the fuck in. Alright, give me a map. Give me a map. Cemetery. It modifiers if it doesn't apply to devoted as well. Uh, the negative modifiers are also good for us. We just couldn't see that before. So like negative modifiers, 96% chance to find corpses of all flame embers, 144% chance to find all flame embers, 192% chance. 240% chance. Sweet Jesus. We couldn't, so it turns out we could. You just had to mouse over here and it didn't have the exact specific numbers. But it told you the upside, but you had to mouse over it, which none of us ever did. It might as well have not been there. <laughs> I might as well have not been there. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try and take some damage real quick. Damage me. Somebody damage me. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Did anyone see that? I stood in the DD. I stood in the DD because it's a chain. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, 
him. There does have to be mobs left for me to leech from for the instant to work but but yeah I'll, I'll take that thanks buddy it's amazing what moving a decibel point will do let's talk see what we want to dump or keep Didn't these become 10% now? Can I burn all these as well? Is it worth swapping now? Yes. I wonder if this has always been the case for Baron. It has, but Baron can only have nine of them and they don't attack nearly as fast as SRS. Has the instant leech? Huge. This one's just blank. <laughs> Get your magic find characters ready. Should have put it in a box and saved it forever. Uh, guys, the change to the instant leech tech. It's time. It's time to change to the instant leech tech. Uh, if you weren't doing it before, you're doing it now. Get your magic find characters ready. Whew. Top heavy. Thank you very much for the T1 sub and thank you very much for the gifted sub as well uh one problem we need to update every filter in existence oh okay you can still get one tapped by the way but yes the leech tech works and is fantastic Full flame member of sitting uh, packs that could drop scarabs. Huge, huge. What exactly do I have to do to let it work? Um, so you need this, which I now have a forbidden flesh and flame for. And then you need to take these three nodes, which do absolutely nothing for us whatsoever. And then this node, which does 10% of leeches instant, which is great. Nodes can drop catalysts. Okay. Okay. The two things at the beginning of this map where I laughed my ass off 
I need to go back and clip those two things. The one where the box exploded on top of me and it just like insta healed me. And a bit before that, when I started like laughing heavily at how quickly my leech came back. I need to, I need to get clips of those two things. corpses still exist yes but they won't drop all the all the old corpses i think still exist they just won't give you new ones just burn them burn them away <laughs> this is what i wanted this is what i was hoping for and expecting I know, I know, I know. We're gonna finish the fucking thing first though. The map. Go finish the map. Yeah, I wanna fit in petrified blood so badly. Me too. I'm going to have to think about that though. This is MMO who's gaze overkill. No, it's good. Yes, that clip. That is perfect. That is perfect. That, that is the ideal clip. Look at this shit. Damage me. Somebody damage me. <laughs> I don't even damage pop my me. life flask. Somebody damage me. <laughs> damage. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, okay, there's going to be two parts to this video. One is this, which saves our build and Two is lol look at all the buffs that came out. Where are the, where's my patch notes thing? Where's my patch notes thing? Uh where's my fucking link to the patch notes? Uh where did I fucking keep that bitch? I swear I kept it somewhere. <laughs> that signature laugh, it's so good. Oh, thank you. Uh, 
No, it's not that one. It's that one. Eh. The notes are not the same. There is more in here. I'm gonna drop mistress and bone offering and take glancing blow and bone barrier or stay with mistress or you can do what I did and take both but yes yes you do that's exactly what we do fuck mistress's sacrifice <laughs> I did instant leech I mmm strong instant leech strong Okay, the new crafting is cracked. Wait, should I go and do new crafting before we fucking... Nah, I don't care about crafting still. <laughs> Even if it's good, I still don't care. All right, fucking... Mute alerts. Oop, what is this? Yeah. Okay. And you can spam store bodies. Yep. How come your chances of those things are like 200% of mine, like 50%? Mine are like 50%. Um, I believe they scale with your map modifiers, and I was doing corrupted like 100% quant maps. They extend the limit of corpses? No. To take glancing blow now uh if you're not using bone offering self bone offering yeah you have to take glancing to cap you take glancing to cap so that you can keep your life gain on block shield going on and then the damage we take doesn't matter because we instant leech it so is the best spectre exclamation mark spectre Damage me. Uh, leafless. Apparently I wasn't hitting leech cap. I don't think any of us were. I think we were probably leeching somewhere closer to 8 to 10% instead of the 20 cap. And now we also get instant leech. It's only not also onslaught? No, it's an action speed buff of 20%. It's actually better than onslaught. Ah. All right. Hang on. We got we got to do we got to do some quick recording. I wonder if I can record at the same time as streaming to two places at once without my computer shitting itself. At least so you can get this done. I don't know. I've already hit record, so uh, so that's okay. Dread, dread, dread will edit, but it's out of the front anyway. Ah. <sighs> oh, hi. Thanks. I will for need to hide those first. Still a piece of right. garbage. I will need to turn those off first because people can't fucking help themselves blurp sounds go away okay i 
think I've hidden blurp sounds too now. Check guild. Fuck. No, why? Why? No, I've got D&D &D on. I think I'll do it on purpose because I think it's funny. Right? Start. Now, where's the leech node? There it is. Hmm. <clears throat> Why, hello, YouTube. It's Baylor Mage again, and we got the patch of the fucking century one day after they told us what they were working on, which is a little bit insane. Two big things happened, but one that excites me the most, uh, one that excites me the absolute most. Fixed a bug where the life leech from minion damage granted by Necromancer's Bone Barrier Ascendancy passive skill was being applied at a tenth its value. We weren't leeching 1% of damage, we were leeching 0.1% of damage, and the recovery we had was still noticeable. This is the first map I entered after taking my instant leech again, where I intentionally see if Damaged somebody can me. hit me somebody damage me that was the life recovery <laughs> there's no flask use in here that's the damage life recovery me. now instant somebody leech is insane <laughs> instant leech is insane so if we weren't doing the instant leech tech before we should be now we should be now there's going to be a lot of uh, more play in this build than I was expecting. I also went ahead and uh, I went ahead and got a Forbidden Flesh and Flame for Bone Barrier so I could have it at the same time. Uh, I expect that's going to be exorbitantly expensive. So you're probably just sticking with not having Mistress of Sacrifice in order to get the instant leech tech for now. But at the same time every single crafting improvement and every single league improvement that they had announced that they were working on yesterday all got added everything instant itemized corpses a whole bunch of new all flame embers rebalances to all the things we can see better stuff on the map device we'll link this whole thing in the description in case anybody wants to read it there are way too many of them to go through but basically crafting is now cracked the league mechanic is better in maps it is more rewarding and a little bit less hard surprisingly it looks like only a little bit less hard they weren't incredibly incredibly nerfed difficult wise just a, just a little bit off the top but way more rewarding so huge huge things and then also some some stuff i wasn't expecting tier 17 maps can now be modified with chaos orbs that one's pretty cool so you still can't like roll it the way you want. You still can't like scour them and run very easy ones, but you can chaos spam the impossible ones into something maybe slightly more doable. So that's cool. Um, as well as increase the quantity and item rarity bonuses for a bunch of those modifiers. And they moved a bunch of div cards into those maps. Um, they're all listed here. Honestly, this is all way too much to go through. So the TLDR that everybody needs to know is the whole league just got way better. <laughs> and this is the entire week's worth of what I thought might happen. All happened the day they're all back in the office for the first time, which to me is insane. How do you get this much done in one go? I don't know, but it's fucking done. The other bug fixes that are super important is the essence one. Everybody... May have already been aware we couldn't upgrade the misery envy scorn and dread essences into their horror delirium hysteria insanity ones that was that was bugged that's fixed so we should be seeing essences be worth money again 
and people farming them again so that should be great um there was a volatile dead bug but most people didn't even know that existed i'm a little bit sad that one got fixed but it definitely deserved to get fixed because it was op a few other little bug fixes here and there that aren't super impactful it's all the stuff above here that's huge for me uh it's also big enough that i might actually start crafting items which is weird but the most important part instant leech is cracked we're going to be playing a lot more of the uh poison srs i had almost decided to re-roll this morning because the instant leech stuff wasn't working and i was like well i've played this build before then now maybe i just want to try something new nope nope Nope, we're, we're going we're going heavier into this now. Alright, that is all. And I will see everybody next time. Goodbye. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Alright. There, now I can unmute all the blurp sounds so people can interrupt me. Now, where did they go? Unmute. 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 There we go. Excuse me? Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Badly, I wanted to donate bits to see if you'd remembered those. You're welcome. I actually hit the mute all alerts button, which stops this everything except blurps because they're their own thing. But the mute alert button stops subs, bits, gifts, all of those things from making noises. I've just got a button for that. But blurp doesn't... The blurps aren't like part of stream elements, so they're their own different thing that I have to remember to mute separately, and I never fucking do. <laughs> I just, I press mute alerts and assume that's everything, and it just isn't. <laughs> Get your magic find characters ready. Upload file. Lupus, Please thank you for the 42 month Let's reset. See. Uploading now. Everyone gets to have now. Oh, we've got to collect corpses first. We've still, we've still got to collect corpses first. Uh, where do you get the latest path of building with the leech check? Um, just load me directly into path of building. You can just load me directly into path of building. Just type my name up the top of path of building where you would normally import a build. Slash D and D. Okay, D and D is off. I'm sorry. Did that come out of the fucking garden? Did that helmet come out of the fucking garden? Can you make another one? What the fuck? I want one. I want exactly that helmet. What on earth?
craft fizz taken as fire and fucking slap it on this is my old one someone just bought yep no suppress worthless do we even fucking need suppress anymore i mean i could fucking go to a map but i could also like let's just see what i've already got Do I have minion? Do I have anything minion? I do have 500% increased chance for minions, but only one. But only one. All these are dead now, right? Plus 100 to resistance, plus 100 to attribute, plus 100 to speed. These are all like, don't exist anymore, right? It's just plus 100 to everything. But what I mean by dead is I mean they don't exist anymore, right? The new ones are just plus 50, but they're at everything. Okay, well. I wonder if the plus 100s I have will be worth keeping. Um, I'm just going to box everything that I own and put it away. I'm just going to box everything that I own. Is there an easier way to do this? Talk to the dude. Yes. View morgue. Ah. Does it just go in my inventory? It does. Why do they take up two spaces? <laughs> Why? Oh no. Feel the weight. <laughs> Could you just like <laughs> not? There's just there's just no need. There. That's a problem for later. We're fresh now. Spectres of those exclamation marks, spectres.
All right, we have a new problem. I no longer care what the negative modifier is, and I'm just dragging all of the ones that have the most increased chance to the top. <laughs> is the top better? Yep. Holy instant leech pog. Yup. What damage? I mean, I still do get one shot. singular focus can we map again um i just changed to singular focus anyway i'm not gonna lie um i got sick of it i hope it works but uh if i'm losing some tier 17 maps so be it i fucking spent all day today running around different maps instead of just being in cemetery and then was like mm, this ain't the way to play the game <laughs> i pass do you not sustain a single map i didn't try i went the opposite node to rule out all the bad maps were you able to sustain without it i, I didn't even think that was an option Okay then. This is fucking great. Are you kidding me? Too much it feels like playing a new build. Have you numlock tricked your haste? Nah. I should, but I can't be bothered.
Can we get pet blood in is the next question? I mean, you could just straight swap it for determination right now. But that doesn't feel like the play I want to do. What I really want to do is swap it for vitality, but it won't fit on its own. I need to find some RMR, but I don't know how much RMR I need. I'm going to have to path of building it. You literally can't nom lock haste. You can do Val haste though. Well, you need vitality with instant leech. Exactly. That's why I want to, I want to fuck off vitality for petrified blood but i need a little bit of extra rmr somehow um well the helmet implicit might be enough on its own New temperature, we take the block nodes and a roomies. You want it. If not, drop the third spectre. Yeah, I'll drop the third spectre in a heartbeat if the if if the helmet implicit is not enough. Need you to get instant leech working. Uh I dropped this life wheel. Didn't really need it. Didn't really need it anyway. So let's see if the implicit would be enough to throw that on instead of vitality. So instead of vitality, I want Petrified blood. That only has 8%. Okay. What if I just have a helmet implicit? Where are you? Uh, where are you? Where are you? Mind visage. Add implicit. No. Uh, not that one, this one. Right? Aren't you the one? No, you're the one that has minion movement speed. It must be the other one. Must be either. Am I fucking blind? There it is. Let's see. If I put on 8%, how much would that be? 3. Almost. Hello. Okay, so it can definitely be done without losing my third spectre. That's what I'm learning right now. It can definitely be done without learning my, losing my third spectre. Anointing Charisma is 16, so that would do it on the spot, but then I do lose my third Spectre for now. Um, probably worth. That's probably worth it. The 
pet blood we want to be low life all the time we will be low life all the time but it also means that we will over leech all the time so on top of our instant leech our regular leech will be at leech cap all the time <laughs> ah right i'll be back in just a second
Okay. So am I just going to anoint to fit this in or what? Hmm. Can your shield have armor? It can, but it doesn't. I could Eldritch armor, but... How much do I need? Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Project Speed Tattoos, open another one. Can you name it your two guesses? Other than Spark? No. No, I can't. Oh! Winter orb would be cool. Okay, so the answer is I'm going to need to make a way better helmet because this helmet is not worth doing that implicit to. So for now, do we just give up a specter, throw charisma on for 16%? And then exist with petrified blood. I think we do. But that's what I'm trying to do. But it doesn't fit. How does yours fit? I mean, nothing's mandatory. We didn't need the leech to begin with, but it's fucking great. Like, how do you... You can't just switch vitality for it. It doesn't fit. Six bone barrier for real? Yes. I don't have tempest shield. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to remain block capped. Look at all that attack block I'd lose. It's also shock immunity, which is pretty important. I think I'm just going to re anoint. I think I'm just going to re anoint for now. Get your magic find characters ready. Going leech instead uh, of mistress except wait, wait. I shouldn't re anoint then. Because in here we have an Ulza uprising. It's malevolence, which is not ideal. But it's there.
been all three of these are so good back up mail thank you very much for the prime all of these are so good of the different envies all yet no much is a malevolence 25 how much is an envy i wonder if i should just That doesn't exist. Mm, haste doesn't appear to exist either. Am I doing something wrong? Oh, I am. Hang on. Uh, I don't know if I want that one. Can't see what you're doing wrong <laughs> if you hide it. Fair. There are no envies for sale. There are no envies for sale. That is correct. Envy is the one we really, really, really want. It's also probably the most expensive. Get a two or three small iron mount cluster jewel. Yeah, I could. Six and a half for a haste though. I'll do that. Wasn't haste on a blessing? Yes, but you can move haste off the blessing onto a permanent aura. And then... Then I can blessing malevol uh, malevolence instead. And also, I'll be replacing vitality with petrified blood. But in order to do that, I also need to anoint. Which I didn't want to re-anoint the jinxed juju because... I can just sell this. Hmm. Envy Neck has 20% global defense on it. Yes, which is much better. This one has percent evasion rating, which we don't even care about. Envy is the best. Uh, 
how do you get instant leech here yeah. from the leech mastery Strong box is additive with the atlas. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's at least bless this. Perfect. Um, it's a pretty bad roll on the decks here, but I just gonna drop for instant leech, whatever you have to. I mean, I dropped this life wheel, but I didn't even know what level you're up to. I also dropped points off the back of my cluster. I'd drop these if I had to. I'd drop these if I had to. I'd drop life masteries if I had to. Like, I'd fucking just get it. <laughs> I don't know, man. Just get it. Okay, so I need to anoint this one with charisma, which is two golds and an opalescent. Is life on block shield now worth it with that how insta leech works? Um, yeah, it's still probably worth it. Can now, there's no such thing as too much defense, right? I hope you up with oils. I will take two golds and an opalescent, please. Which catalyst for envy? Defense. Um, defense or attribute if you need it, but defense would be better, yeah. Thank you. The petrified blood is the way to go. I mean, I haven't even ran it yet, so I, I don't fucking know. I think so. So I literally don't need res. But I do need chaos res. Sadly. Do we need to reserve some of our life now? Need to? No. It will go down whether you like it or not. Need more mana. Um, you don't need to reserve any of your life. Technically you could, but where would you find links to do so? Right? Like where where are you gonna where are you gonna link? Like I could put vitality back on, on the front here, but like how? Where 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 does that go? <laughs> right? Like i where where the fuck would that go? i it couldn't. Mm. Stone Golem isn't Stone Golem, it's Feeding Frenzy. No, Petrified Blood costs too much. You 
can't use it. What do my resistances look like right now? Okay, so if I go with this one. Hmm. Going back to using instant leech? Yes. You could, but Feeding Frenzy is 10% more damage. It's so much better. It's so much better. I can't even... In fact, describing how much better it is wouldn't be worth it. Let's see if I closed off the thing. Damn it. I think I closed off the, uh, I think I closed off the tab that had my clip in it. Yeah, I did. Check, check my clips. You'll see. Instantly it's worth three useless passive points. It's so worth it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Um, okay. So if we do that, then I need to get new boots. Let's go to the open again. It's just a math problem, right? Oh, to the rare boxes. I was told that they gave you a bunch of uniques you didn't want. Is that not the case? I'm going to be honest, I never checked it. Ah. So I need, so I need movement speed. 30. Uh, cool. Cool, cool. I will get to that.
doing overleech again um so as long as you have petrified blood which i better probably buy a leveled version of um probably one with uh quality but as long as you petrify blood you just always have overleech Can you leech ES off this tech? Mm, yes, if you come down to Ghost Reaver for two points, which I was thinking about with the Aegis Mom stuff as an option as well. I like 10k ES. Uh, not in this build. Mostly because we can't really go CI or really even, well, maybe get away with super low life as long as i leave enough life and keep life regen mm. i don't know how to do anything with those to be honest um pineapple might Uh, what did you drop to get points for instant? I just dropped this life wheel that I had because The instant leech didn't work uh, How much do I need to get rid of this? Seven, but haste is only level 18. It's going to need 155, so I would need how much more? If I lost a dex node, I would need. Okay, so if I can solve that, that could be very good. Could be. Yes, they did remove that. It now only works for support gems, not active gems. Those are also pretty good. But I'm just looking quickly in trade for just for now, bitches. Mm, okay, let's limit trade to like a hundred chaos. Hmm. Oh, but a non corrupted is 90C? I have no idea. People are silly.
Well, I think those will just have to do. They're good enough for now anyway. I don't really have to drop a dex node right now. I dropped a 2120 pet blood yesterday. I was <laughs> hoping you earned it. Nice. Better blood over vitality? I think so, yeah. That's the plan. Yes, if it's on your blessing. Whatever's on your blessing is something you will have to press. Yeah, we'll get it. I'm re-gearing. Fitting in extra shit. Take uh, the haste instead of Val haste. So you use both. You use both is the answer. Yo, bud, is this dude here or not? You've got the one I want. You've actually got the one I want one. Slash, who is? No? Okay. Well, in that case... Uh, I'll just grab whatever's the cheapest one and use it then. I mean, I'll try you one more time. But if not, still do. Taylor, when will poison us or SBT 17 ready? I, I don't know, man. I think a better question is when would Baylor be T17 ready? Probably right now, probably. Our life regen is quite low without vitality, but do we care? Probably not. Probably not. Okay, so I need you to be three blues and a red. Okay. Two blues. Two socket, three socket, become a blue. Become a blue. Thank you. My red. Easy. Easy peasy. Um, okay. Well, Ray Spectres will just have to resummon them. Who cares? Um, let's grab some of these and just throw them on. 
get me anything even remotely useful and you'll do riddles really not yep that is sure you'll do Uh, okay. I can't imagine these are worth anything at all. This might be. Sixty chaos. Do you even get power charges? Nope. Uh, we will keep that and we will keep that in case it goes back on um okay next thing that needs to go is this needs to become red blue red unless Remove the blessing. One red. Do that. Jump over here. Okay, apparently I don't own a malevolence. And I don't own a petrified blood. We added two auras here, by the way. We're putting a malevolence back in and pet blood. Uh, well, I'm not fucking paying that. Replacing haste? Nope. Haste is now in an unset ring. The new patch feel? Absolutely fucking amazing. Apparently I am paying 90 C. I don't even care. Is it an envy zool you've got there? Unfortunately, no. It is a haste ools. sell the malevolence one i didn't it, it is still in the stash i i got that one for 6.5 too good too good to pass up at that price
Right now, do we ever die again? Who knows? I need more mana. Who knows? But I don't think I need you anymore. And I do want that. I'm confused what exactly does it do right so with petrified blood when you take damage 40% of the damage that you would lose is taken as damage over time instead of an upfront hit so less getting one shot right but then and then 76% of the life loss prevented this way is lost over four seconds so there's it's a little bit of a damage down like you 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 are taking less damage overall but most of the damage still goes through it just goes through over time that's cool but also you never reach full life because your life stops recovering there you can't life can on hit it you can't leech it you can't regen it anything like that which means not only will we have the instant leech but also we should have permanently our entire leech cap just happening all the time. Because leech doesn't stop unless you're full on life. But we should just be significantly more tanky we could use some auras for life so the only thing you can put on life that you can afford to but without significant investment is flat auras the only one that matters to us would be vitality i don't see any viable way to get vitality i also don't think we'll need it I just don't think we'll need it because you would need to put vitality back in, but you would also need to put in, um, what do you call it? The arrogance support. So you would need two. The only thing that you have as an option is you could give up your stone golem and feeding frenzy, but feeding frenzy is 10% more damage. So no. <laughs> All right, so now I got to resummon everything. Get rid of Arcanist Brand. Put raise Spectre on my bar. Desecrate my corpses, of which I unfortunately only get two, so I have to figure out which ones I actually like the most. Let's build cheaper than a Zoom Ansem. Um, I have no idea. I've never looked into the price of a zoom answer. I don't think it's a good build. The patch is already out. Yep. Um, I think I liked the spectral leader enough to keep it when I've only got two. But not pale sephirim. I think I want... Maybe it is Pale Sephiroth. Maybe it's Arena Master we get skip for now. I'm going to get all three back eventually. I'm going to get all three back eventually, but for now, I think I'll go with those. What do Arena Master do? Another action speed buff. Okay, and now we've got to turn haste into an invisible aura because it's no longer the one I have to keep up. 
And then malevolence. Into this. Maybe the accuracy thing doesn't work. Um, okay. Get your magic find characters okay, I'll ready. Come back to that in a minute. I need to test how this feels. Uh, wait. What am I missing? Uh, I'm missing you. And I'm missing. Bob. The Varanus. Over the 18 month resub. So in theory, I just have overleech now, just all the time. And if anyone could do any damage to me, I'd find out. Do I ever die? I mean, I just stood in that DD box, by the way. I just stood in that DD box to see what would happen. I'm like intentionally trying to get hit here. Okay, I'm going to say something crazy. I don't know if we need 10% more damage. What if we just give up feeding frenzy and we put our vitality arrogance in as well? And like 400 regen for when we've got nothing to leech over. Why don't you die when you reach zero HP? Ah, because it didn't really reach zero HP. This'll do nicely, XR. We didn't really reach zero HP. Um, what we did was we reached theoretically zero HP. If we didn't regen or leech anything, the size of the hit that hit us would have been enough that the degen from Petrified Blood would have led us to zero life. However, we have leech and we have regen, so that just recovers it before the degen finishes happening. So you don't die.
and still get a vitality hmm Mana. I wonder if I even really need to have that life flask. Certainly don't find myself needing to press it. Too much what is that? Plus one lightning, 152 mana, flat lightning, and crit multi. wants this but it's good thanks id filter Okay, I can still get one shot. <laughs> that's fine. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I have a small problem. There is no longer enough room for all of my auras. That's a pain in the ass. There we go.
the potion just then. I don't know if I needed to, but I did. Definitely a lot tankier. But I think I could be even more tanky. And try tier 17. The problem is no matter how much tankier and more damage I get, Bob can't do a tier 17. I'm pretty sure Bob dies. Like, like Bob dies, right? Like, Of the smiting one? Yeah. I do have a normal Bob as well. I do have a normal Bob as well, but. Gem of the character. It's on the character, so you can swap gems. Do nicely, Exile. raise low life above fifty five percent. No,
much clatter. My name is the devoted mud. Time to pray. Good luck. Alright, I never thought I never thought I'd see a version of this build where I'm running petrified blood. But now I can't see a version of this build to run without it. I'm definitely running petrified blood, like what? It's so fucking strong. Uh, seems pretty easy to hit 100%. You have them both on 20% ailment boots. You actually can get up to 50% on a single jewel and 100% belt. You don't even need any on the build. Do we still need the life gain on block shield? Ah. Uh... Don't know. I think I would like to keep the life on block. Hmm. I mean, if I drop the life on block, then I can also drop this whole wheel. And we can just use... Yeah, you still need... Like, you're definitely not always leeching all of the time. Leech only lasts a few seconds. It's why I want to get vitality back in because it was the majority of my regen like with the amount of aura effect you have in a level 20 vitality you have like a that's like six or seven hundred regen which when you're running pet blood is like twice as effective right so i'd rather keep it Mom Aegis is a really, really cool idea for this as well. I'm going to drop. Right now I've dropped the Arena Master, but I'm absolutely not sure. Mom take from ES. It does. But it's all layers, right? Anting below and max your block with Bone Offering now. Yes. Yes, I could. I don't know if I need to um, because, so let's see, right? 65% of the damage that I would take from a block uh, from comes through, right? Then I get healed for 5% of my life. 
at the same time as 40% of the damage that does hit me gets removed also. So I take 65% of the damage whenever I block and then 40% of that gets taken away because of petrified blood and applied over time, which is basically null and void. It doesn't exist because of that. And so, yeah, eventually you put a progenesis on as well. And then, eh, eh, right? Eh. <laughs> hmm. Out of curiosity, what does it look like if I have this one on? That's still cap. That's still cap. Maybe I run this one. Hold on. Arms. Oh, Jinx is not ten percent over hit. It, it is. So this one still has minion movement speed, but it also has eleven percent damage recoup. Just to, just to fucking throw some extra, some extra in there, for my pet blood setup. <laughs> uh layers right just to just to be clear that is fucking woefully over the top to just throw it to try and throw and recoup on top is woefully o over the top here but fuck it why not is it though is it woefully over the top because i'm gonna run into tier 17 maps so like is it is it though <laughs> Or am I still gonna fucking die? <laughs> Else you're gonna invest in your dot capped? I'm not dot capped. Not at all. Right. We're we'll back in just a second.
at least no works now it uh, doesn't just work it's the best thing that's ever happened uh hang on i need to take out some of these that i don't want I can't stop living. I can't stop living. <laughs> that's <coughs> that's the title of the next YouTube video update. Hang on. Just had to write that down. <coughs> I just can't stop living. I'm tuning in to see the leech. Uh, yep. Let's go. Hang on. Hang on. Dum 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 If you use that the entire comment section will be about tier 17s. Well then I'll guess I'll have to do tier 17s before that. Do we have cannot be crit? We can, but I don't. Uh, I don't want 50% chance to avoid. Eh, fuck it. I will, actually. Probably doesn't matter. Probably don't care about cannot regen either. Ah, uh, I'll still care a little bit about cannot regen. Will I? Let's find out. Actually, let's find out next. I want to run this one first. Oh, do we feel the fix? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do. Don't launch. Yay. 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 That's also a really good change, by the way. The fact that it lets you just hit escape and be like, oh, I'll just do this trade real quick. It doesn't launch. Fantastic. Uh, inventory locked until this map is activated. Okay, but like... Oh, so that just brings back up the thing. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
How much are omens? Don't even know. There's absolutely no fucking way. So those are three C each. I'm not selling them in bulk. Those are individual prices. I'm not even. Why do people do that? Okay, Ice Nova Boxes can still one-tap you. Learn learn that Ice Nova Boxes can still one-tap you, by the way. I learned that earlier. I don't know why I didn't remember that I'd learned that. I need more mana. Good thing to come from corrupted items being unID'd. When you vend a mirror, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> then I try and become a chance of easy. Illusion your tree and recover on death. I don't know what you're talking about. Why would they be pointless now? That's not that's to keep my specters and animate guardian alive not me That doesn't heal me at all that heals my specters and animate guardian it stops bob's deaths That's a very important note Uh, actually, isn't it? It's now leeching 10 times as much. Right, but it's leeching to me, not itself. And even if it was leeching to itself, Bob and the Spectres don't do any damage. does a ton with smiting eh. I don't know about that oh, poisonous arrest isn't it dealing chaos damage is it the same thing so it's poisoning is why um like poison is an ailment that it's a it's a chaos damage ailment but that like just like bleed is a physical damage ailment or ignite is a fire damage ailment 
We have, but we have a hundred percent chance to poison, and that's where most of the damage comes from. It's is poison. Um, TLDR, a quick TLDR for pet blood, is it takes nearly half of the damage from your from every hit and spreads it to damage over time instead of a brother's stash again still the wrong card but i'll take it and um, spreads it to damage over time so we get a far more effective hit pull we don't get one shot as often or as easy um then patch is already live then we, we over leech as well as instant leech like look at our recovery it's insane Much you pair that with leaf shade no Have you upgraded Arakali? Nope. How much is a blanching worth? It's something. Yeah, as a gift. Lol. This thing, what's gonna kill us is huge hits of grits. Yes. By the way, corpses are selling for 20c. How much do you benefit from the smiting? Uh, the smite itself, nothing. It's just better coverage for the curse, which leads to more explosions, which is better, um, like clear and whatnot. But it also makes him significantly, um, significantly squishier. And the damage recouped his mana. Leech early on as in third lab. Uh, no. As good as the leech is, I still wouldn't take it until Uber. Do you think you'll drop a life flask? I think it's very likely that I drop a life flask, but not yet. I need to sort out a few more things. I'm still getting one tapped a little bit too often. And I'm going to need to fix that. Because if you don't one tap me, you basically can't kill me now. Uh, the worst weapon to burn Baron now after the changes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so very much yes. If I was going to change out the stone golem, which I won't be because it's currently my only form of regen left because I had to drop vitality. Um, but if I was going to swap out the stone golem, it would just be for a chaos golem for physical damage reduction.
angle am even worth considering? Nah, not really. All right, let's run this cannot regen map. This one right here is cannot regen. Just did a goalie friends when you hit the dog cap. Yes, that is an option. That was one I was considering. Oh, the fucking Nova though. I have to remember to dodge the Novas. I became super, super tanky. But then I just stopped dodging the box novas because I'm like, oh, I'm tanky now, but they, they still just one shot you. I have to stop standing in the novas. Like my sustain's insane, but it's not. It's not stand in the nova box insane. How you feeling about this patch? Absolutely fucking in love with it. This is a cannot regen map, by the way. spec that's recharge not regen okay i can't get gear upgrades yeah we're all we're all struggling i'm not gonna lie Except the crafters the crafters don't seem to be struggling at all uh however this new upgrade this new this league nice bit the new patch that's the one uh we need to start the the actual league seems to be making more money now start using shit start working out the league it's significantly better Yeah, less recovery is something we still can't run because that will that'll affect everything leech regen your life flask your energy shield recovery everything do you replace vitality and one of my specters You guys worth anything? No. No 
one cares about those. The mushroom shirt. No, thank you. am I using? Haste. It's the only one I could afford. Envy would have obviously been the best. But I'm using haste because it was cheaper. but it's also more expensive yeah you can also just use malevolence and throw malevolence on permanently and then still have to blessing your haste but that's my least favorite option because any other option lets you put haste on permanently so you can get all that decreased attack cast and move speed and that's what i want to do right i want i want that upgrade to give me the permanent permanent haste you're on the life with pet blood i most certainly am thoughts on mana changes and options on mana flask being automated i don't know what you're talking about why would you be why would why would mana flasks be automated? I found three brothers stashes, but none of the like good one. God Slayer, good day. Say less I'm slapping a Laurie's lantern in. Hmm. Damage on the enemies hitting you is unlucky. Hmm. I don't know if that's worth.
Stand in the game, spell suppress. Uh, I'm thinking about an option for it. If I was gonna, that would be the one. Yes. Uh, that'd be exactly the one. In fact, it was the one I was just looking at on trade. No portal two to ice boxes. Thought all three were early reflect. For a frost pink. <laughs> not best in slot I'm sure but both of my rings are <laughs> fair enough blessed orbs I do like blessed orbs uh okay well Damn it. Hmm. Okay. We sh well, I should be more tanky. But I do feel like I'm dying more than I feel like I should. And always very, very quickly. So. Why? And how do I counter it? See? Like that. Like what even was that? There'll be some slight growing pains while we work it out. But like what even was that? That what what is hitting me here? I'm just dying to the air. Ready. They keep hiding Prime subscription more and more in options. Is it lag because the servers are broken for me? I'm um, solid.
Just slap on a defiance of destiny. Any brothers cards yet? Three so far, but all the divine ones. I found three of the divine ones. <laughs> Sorry, exalt ones. I mean exalt ones. Three of the exalt ones and none of the divines is what I mean. Which, by the way, they're supposed to be the same rarity. <laughs> Rough luck. Okay, where's this thing that was one tapping me? Where are you, bud? Is it you? Were you what was one tapping me? Yep. I don't see the mob. It's you with always crits, right? Okay. There's just one mob in this map that just, I just can't live. Oh, I well, apparently I should have vended before I came back in here. Never mind. I get another chance because that fucking this dude right here. The one dude's just giga chad leash this, right? I'm sorry. Are there three brothers stashes in my... Oh, all right, cool. Give me brother's gift. Brother's stash is cool. Is it better for you if I watch on Twitch or YouTube? Or does it not make a difference? It's better for me that you watch wherever it is you'd rather be. 
it's fine in both places. We can't run reflect damage, right? No, we can. We can run any reflects. I wish I knew where this guy was who was one-shotting me before he just like you just like randomly die Like I don't want to randomly die Is that him right there? That's him right there None of that please Keep running away from those Is he dead? Is that him still? Oh, never mind. I found him. Or should I say he found me? Well, we lose the rest of that one. Try the splinter all flames are worth. Nope. He's just better. That's fine. Well, I tell you what, we're at fucking I do recommend using. <laughs> I'm down to two now and I'm not entirely sure. Exclamation mark Spectre. Those are the three. But I recommend we remove these from the filter. Yeah, you can recommend it all you like. I'd love to. Here's the problem. That he has his own inbuilt rules. One that says shows map with implicits. And if I hide I've already hidden all corrupted maps that are magic or white Th that rule to show implicit maps overrides it and if i hide those it will also hide all the rare maps that have implicits on them so i don't know what the fuck to do about that they came out with three divines as well nice Mm -hmm. This is definitely one of the better um, This is one of the better Sanctum builds Below the others right except that I don't have the opportunity to do that because they're built in rules i mean i could open the text document and do it manually but i'm not fucking gonna
the NV amulet better than this? Mm, yes, just because this amulet has percent increased evasion rating, which is worthless to us, and that amulet has percent increased defenses, which is global defense, so armor and energy shield. Full of usual and chest piece on the weapon first. The baby weapon? is like 10c now the the wrong sword that still has 25 mb so you get that first specifically be highlighted with corrupted implicits um yeah all right that order should work sounds right to me glancing glow i have right now yeah i don't know if i'll keep it Good find, Exile.
more mana. Twenty five scarabs from Bokkers. Just as many as many scarabs and tier seventeen maps as I can get my hands on. And we're using boxes to do it right now. monster things are over I'm pretty sure I'm going to kill 50 rogue exiles per map um the beyond every unique drops like 12 beyond portals is a scarab there's the scarab chance node on the left hand side that's really 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 good to fix leech oh yeah uh this one right here unique monsters in a map of 200 percent chance to drop scarabs um what else anything when i'm ready and not before that's all that i can remember With that in mind, when should I aim to do Uberlab? Wait until I'm comfortable with how to maps or what? Uh, honestly, the earlier you do it, the better. You probably already have enough power. In fact, you certainly already have enough power. Morning, he hawk. That uh, was tree up to date. Ah, uh, probably not.
I'm running the box tree. Uh, hang on. Let me pull it up. Uh, I have it here somewhere. Here it is. Copy. Extra monsters drop socket related currency. Extra monsters drop fully linked items. Okay. Okay. It gives it all flames so good now. Well, I've got it already. I'm not gonna lie, it was already pretty good to be to be honest. Question concerning spell suppression and ailment immunity is more important when you're playing SRS. We're already basically ailment immune. So we don't, we really don't need that at all. Like we're not actually ailment immune, but we're like, we are though. It's all covered in the FAQ doc. And also in the build guide but the FAQ doc is easy to look through See a map, wish me luck. Good luck. Um, question. Tell me about the guardian. What do you think is bad to look for? So I think exclamation mark Bob is the command for the animate guardian. Also, the animate guardian gear is all in the path of building. In the gear sets, if you drop down the gear sets, there's one that says AG, and it's got all the gear in it.
Just forbidden flesh inflamed mistress and took bone barrier. This is unethical. Ah. Yeah. It's also in the notes. It's also in the notes. Gotta purify them out by chance. Probably. Well, let's see how many Chalupa fragments we get from this guy right here. Enslaver, I'm an idiot. Uh... Slaver. Yes, yes, I do. There you go, right there. I'm missing a video or guide for Arena Master. Um, I don't think I have one of those. I just tell you what to get. I don't tell you where to get it, apparently. Guardian section, I can see the items. Yep. Just keep those. say armor or weapon so you can you you can basically he doesn't have jewelry but you can gear him out like he's a character he gets to wear every, everything he gets to wear a chest a helmet gloves boots and any combination of weapons that an exile could hold so a single two-hander or a one-hander and shield or dual wield one-handers he doesn't have any jewelry though These corpses need a bunch of level 84 corpses. I see my item is a little. Oh, I have no idea. Do 
would be so cool if Bob could wear jewelry. Imagine the possibilities. It would be very cool if Bob could wear jewelry. I haven't even considered what I would give Bob if he could wear jewelry. But. The blessing of the covenant? The covenant first. Bob with defiance, never die. Never die, Bob with defiance of destiny on. <laughs> See the second one or an arena master? I'd get an arena master for the second slot. This is disgusting. Packs can drop fractured items. Huge. Um, side note, I'm not through this map yet. I currently have 60 Chalupa splinters in my inventory from using one chalupa all, all flame one you can give him shape of scene it's better than running breaches it actually it actually is legitimately better than running breaches Whoops. Excuse me. Damn it. I didn't mean to put the splinters away. 
Did anyone see how many I had? It can't have been all of those. I'm trying to count them. Shit. Did anyone see how many I put away just then? I will fucking clip it and go back and look. I'm trying I'm trying to figure out how many I got. I'm sure I already had a few. It was less than 78 if that helps. I'm sure it was less than 78. I think it was 70 something. I think it was like 72. Damn it. Uh, 75. 75 is what I had. Okay. Maybe specking out a breach. What the fuck was that? Was that a blurp? It wasn't even a blurp. What? No one messaged me. Where did that come from? Okay, so that was one map, 79, 79 splinters of, of Shula. I just used one all flame of Shula. One. When do we have to get a weapon or sort of avoid militia after grabbing the chest? You keep the chance to poison support until you're capping poison. Like you, the idea is you're, you want to have a hundred percent poison chance as quick as possible. It's worth starting poison with just chance to poison support and only have from 40%. But then you want to add more and add more and add more through jewels. And eventually you'll add so much that you don't need the support anymore. And then void manipulations better. Where do you get with her now? Ascendancy. <clears throat> now where's my meat sack? Oh. Um We don't take the offering now? Correct. What's so special about Meat Sack? He takes all of the mobs that were in that pack and makes them it combines all of them and their whole loot table like everything into just one mob 
so he dropped this meat sack now drops everything the entire pack would have dropped and this one says strongest monster impact gets dropped item with rarity are converted into so instead of the strongest monster in the pack the meat sack turns the entire pack into one mob with all the drops so it's it's how to make this mod good so when you get either scarabs or divines right then that's the time to make to use meat sack also the time to clear out one extra inventory space Uh, wouldn't you want to move that to the highest mob count not the highest mob count necessarily um but yes but also the one that shows up the most often um in this instance this guy was the only one who said high frequency so his pack size wasn't that high and so i went for the one that but i went for the one that's gonna like show the most amount of packs but different maps and a map i had earlier i had a really 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 high pack size mob that was also super frequent and i used it on that one and i had like full screen explosions this might not be as good i don't know yet we'll see i moved it to the highest frequency one so there would be several explosions but his pack size was pretty mid so I don't know how that's going to work. I need more mana. Uh, what are you running? Uh, you have to look at my profile. I've been changing stuff around. Need two minutes. So soon, face tanking full of juice expeditions in tier 17. Just a tank, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Are you doing the pet blood thing as well? Because that's a bit of a test. And so far, it, like, it feels like it should have been really good, but I feel like I'm dying way more often. Not sure what to do about the pet blood thing yet. I don't even have pet blood. It might, it might not even be the play to use pet blood. It was just something that seemed pretty exciting. From the league mechanic. Jesus. Oh, 
980 axe and a 970 axe. Okay. Hmm, maybe you do need a bigger pack size. Can we pick the base now? Yes. Good when I'm ready, I'm not before. And we got nerfed a bit, not sure. They probably deserved it if they did. I mean, they definitely deserved it, to be honest. After what I did last time. Okay, what are you and why won't you die? Alright, you are a soul leader, I see. I think the soul leaders are... Yeah, they are. I'm never going to be able to kill these soul leader mobs because I'm fucking feeding them souls as my SRS die. Why are they evil to eat the souls of my summon raging spirits? Too much they can't really find they aren't really a thing. They're so much more tanky than they ever used to be when they're at 45 though because they have a literal just less damage taken mob that stacks like they're actually a lot worse for me to deal with than normal solid is used to be like a lot worse they're just immortal nearly they take a fraction of the damage that they used to Shit, which one was which? Uh, this guy. What's the jinx? We got an item filter and sound. Um, exclamation mark filter is where all my item filters are. However, all my item filters have the default sounds, and I intentionally use sounds that I do not share with everybody else that are different, so that when I get my divines drop, you don't get debated into thinking it was yours. You have a global channel. I do. Two two five six seven. This is only one map worth of knowing of like seeing what it was like before but I would also guess that meat sacks got nerfed a little I still think they're very very good but they're definitely not as good as before he, this is only a single map though so like I could have just been lucky then and unlucky now who knows uh one of my characters that can ever die need to re-roll Yeah, why not? The 
Like we're not going to get MF. It's all about these fucking omens. Omens and reward tiles. Like that's... That's what we're, that's where we're getting everything this time. Look at how many minions they have. <laughs> it's from the converts. <laughs> Pack spawn. Convert on death. <laughs> uh, that was great. the true zoom answer the zoom answer build but it's not a bait wait what This is my last box. Is this Scarabs and Strong Boxes? Yes. Expectors, only one left. Ah, uh, yes. I think I'm just gonna pull up my arena master and keep him. I think the new spectre just a little too squishy. Can I grab the box tree? Again, I don't know why so many people keep copying this. The only reason this was worth doing is because I bought all the scarab. We bought all the scarabs at 3C. They're like 7 or 8C now in bulk. Do not pay that. Do not copy this tree. The time has left. It's over. When I run out of scarabs, I will also move on. Oh no, has it been too long? Do I not have an arena master anymore? Oh, I don't have an arena master anymore. How are you getting that many minions and keeping SRS up all the time? I mean, SRS upkeep is pretty easy just because of unleash, right?
spot. That many mobs in my map? That was um one of the league mechanic things. I had monsters that convert on a pretty common pack. There's an arena master. Puh. He's feeling good now? He's feeling OP as fuck now. It's very, very, very nice. What's the difference between haste and val haste on a blessing? But you you have val haste acting as it normally does the whole time. Whatever is on your blessing is another aura that has a duration on it. Like it's another button you have to press. You always have val haste. Is it worth going forbidden flame rash to get all five? Is it worth it? Sure. I've got it. I've got them. If I juice them, do you want to come and do my invites? Uh, I mean, no, unless you need me to. I, I don't need to do your invites. I'm, I'm good. Does Herald of Purity buff the damage of my zombies? No. Anyone know physical abyss jewels work on poison? Not well, but yes, at half value. Two physical, two flat physical is worth one flat chaos. Yeah, I have Bone Barrier, Forbidden Flesh and Flames, but... <laughs> okay. Well, there's one cheap set. And then the rest of them are 50 div. And now that I've said that out loud to nearly 400 people, there's probably not one cheap set anymore. Huh. <laughs> <clears throat> That's just how that works. Do keep in mind if you're looking for Forbidden Flesh and Flames for this build, you can get Mistress of Sacrifice, Bone Barrier, Unnatural Strength, or Commander of Darkness. You can do, if we want all five of them, if you want that, like I've got, it doesn't matter which one is Forbidden Flesh and Flamed. Like, we, the only node we can't take is Mindless Aggression because you have to travel through it to get to the others. There's also another option, which is the Occultist's Void Beacon, is also really, really good. So like any of those sets will be fantastic. Any of them. Actually. Profane Bloom. Um, Profane Bloom works as well. You could take that if you want to do. How risky is Maven for Bob? That depends on how good of a character of a player you are. When Bob walks through one of the beams that stop all recovery, 
he also stops all recovery, including the life on death from your SRS. And he will just slowly die. There's nothing you can do about it because he just stops recovery for like 20 seconds. So all the, all the leech, all the regen, all of the everything that he has just stops working and he just goes slowly dies and never heals himself. <laughs> so risky. <laughs> It's very risky. <laughs> just a mechanical limitation. He could handle the fight. He'll just walk through one of those beams because you can't control him properly. And then he'll slowly die. I will be back in just a second.
Be something error and mirror error thing. Blink error, mirror error. Is what it is. Hmm. Everything is the same. Except you don't take Mistress as Sacrifice, you take Bone Barrier. You use Flesh Offering instead of Bone Offering. And you Glancing Blow Block Cap. Instead of Regular Block Cap. Which basically just means you don't need this wheel. Everything else is the same, gear is the same, you're still using Heal and Block Shield, everything like that. I've gone a step further into some experimentation. I got petrified blood on currently. Would void battery be better than mistress of sacrifice? It might be. Less recovery and minus 20 chaos res is pretty huge. It might be. I assume you avoid beacon, yeah. Hmm. There could be times where you need like one or two percent more block to block cap, depending on your shield. You could pretty easily get one or two percent block from a tattoo. Withering Presence for the Chaos Res. Mm. The more Chaos Damage doesn't do anything and every second inflict Wither on nearby enemies is also pointless. Because we're already Wither capped. So I don't think that would be good. Smooth and leech, obviously both would be predictable. And block cap yet without. Well you get you get glancing blow block cap, right? With the heal on block and the leech is what I've currently done. And an anything could still be good. Yeah. It that feels like overkill. Not even overkill. Overkill is the wrong word. That feels like... It feels like not needed. Just to know to manage your meta reservation? I am right now. That is exactly what I'm doing right now.
this build to tier 17s have you done any uh hmm i haven't completed any yet So I dropped an Amonima who's gazed in a covenant and bought the rest of my gear, but I'm struggling on what to do next. Any help? I. That's not nearly enough information. Are incursion scarabs worth anything? I don't fucking know, man. There's too many scarabs for me to know what's worth anything right now. Okay. Does anyone feel like they're getting less corpses? I want to say this is a good thing, by the way, because we're like only getting good corpses now. But we're definitely getting less, right? But it's not, it doesn't seem like a negative to me. It just seems like I got rid of all the shit corpses. That's, that's it. I just, we just got rid of all the shit corpses. I'm getting more good ones. <laughs> Maybe people are all things got a bit tougher. Um, I don't think so. I don't think I feel as if they're a bit tougher. But I was also actively using omens and shit yesterday as well, which I know isn't a thing that people were using. Yeah, yeah, no, we know what the change is. I'm just very happy about it. sense to get less but better yeah i think it's given me way more opportunity to craft i'm going to be able to make way more items and those items are going to be better but i do feel like i'm getting less corpses per map which is also good because i was filling up way too high too way too fast my golem thank you sorry good catch i gotta be honest the golem might fucking go away I'm thinking about giving up feeding frenzy. Crazy as that might sound. Get vitality back. Yeah. The patch fixed the instant leech things. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and not only did it fix it, but instantly it's just bastard. It's so good. It's as good as I was hoping it would be. I'm so fucking excited here. Which my blood doesn't feel good? Um... It should. I haven't figured out why it doesn't yet. I agree. The petrified blood doesn't feel great. But I'm positive that it should.
a little tempted to go a little harder on the RMR and just fit in Grace as well instead. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. Whoop. Alternatively, that could be interesting. Man, there are so many options to play with now. Holy fuck. How am I supposed to pick which one to do? Too much clutter. Uh, instant leech comes from this mastery right here. Hail. It only works in ES since it was there. The, uh, the whole wheel only works for ES because of where it is it doesn't the wheel doesn't do anything for us we literally spend four points just to get instant leech that's the only node that works okay we 110 percent need a bigger fucking thing here the who suggested earlier that this should look like the uh, heist locker? Where like each thing, like tainted currency, should have this much room. And there should just be another tab for monsters to contain rats that has this much room. And then another tab for frogs that has this much room. And then another one for pistols that has this much room. Should look like the heist locker. should absolutely look like the heist locker like this is insane just dumping them into my dump tab but i can't use them from my dump tab i can only use them from here so they so they have to be in here But like, look at how many extras I've got right now. I made the jewel. <laughs> I mean, you have to slam it. It's already, those are the perfect three stats. So it doesn't matter what you hit. That's good jewel and it goes on. But if you manage to hit something fantastic, it becomes the bestest of all jewels. I got this barman, never did it before. Pretty good. Barman seems pretty good. Does it mean you downside of it doesn't mean you mean you build? I haven't actually played it. So I don't know. Also, I would call it being a minion build an upside. So seriously? Uh, 
frame is closable. You can grab all frames from your stash. Is that enough too? Uh, no, you you can grab them. You can go grab them from your stash. I think. I haven't tried, but I think you can. If I decide I'll play around, uh, I assume I'll need to either figure out to reserve it or pick up more reservations somewhere. The man is fully tapped out. So I had to drop vitality and anoint charisma. Uh, exclamation mark specters. Losing armor, recommending the gun section. Use a different one and later swap to the one you recommended. Yes. If you animate an armor piece while your animate guardian is already wearing an armor piece, the armor piece you're already wearing will just disappear and the new one will replace it. You will not get it back. But that's fine if you want to start with like a budget one. You know, you spend one C on a chest or something. It doesn't matter if it gets deleted, right? But you will not get it back. Uh, do you feel like the leech uh, for me it does nothing no the leech is definitely working properly using blink arrow of bombardment oh that's interesting do you want to come kill this tier 7 can arena no mods and i have one lich left uh i can yeah if you need me to that 39% damage nerf <laughs> no it just uh they just buffed poison by more than the nerf was oh, i have no idea if i can do this or not but we're about to find out But that was before the slam I was watching him That was before the slam uh, Well my damage is very good But apparently I don't know that fine Because I watched him do the like wind up thing And then I got hit While he was still in the air uh, <laughs> I was like Ready to die Oh wait I'm dead uh, She's still active but Oh all right, well, judging by how little he was alive for and how much damage I can do, or I did, I, I mean... I definitely have the damage to kill him. 
whether I'm capable of killing him as a player or not? Different question. I'll check guild. What am I looking? Nice. Nice. popcorn to use poison um i put leveling trees in the path of building and everything you don't have to i'm i just level as normal srs it was very smooth for me if you're already super familiar with um popcorn srs you can just do that if you want Yeah. any untiered all flames oh that's not just untiered that's the color when the filter doesn't even know that that item exists it's the catch-all it's a rule in the never sink space filter that just says if no rule at all applies to this item please show it looking like this And it's for exactly this situation where something gets added and didn't exist before and all of a sudden stuff that's worth money or that we actively want or need just exists and we haven't had a chance to add it to the filter well no one's gonna miss it then never single add it to the filter which it might already be i haven't checked in the last hour And then it'll go to having its good highlight. Can you explain the strat? Um, yeah, but I don't think it's very good. It's basically just add a bajillion boxes. That's, that's literally the whole thing. The whole tree is just boxes and, um, Nico for go fast and some like drop more all flames, get more league mechanic stuff. And then it's just four ambush scarabs. The reason I'm doing it is because when I did, when I started ambush scarabs were three C and now they're seven. So when I run out of ambush scarabs, I'm probably not going to keep doing it because I don't think it's worth that amount of money.
Uh, do you know any soft or max on the tier? Uh, we definitely know that there are some. You don't want to rule out tier twos being able to roll. I don't know the math or how many you're supposed to have. I'm not really like a crafter person, but. Also, Tracer Care was one div now. There's <laughs> a Grim effect. Yeah, I didn't realize Grim was making a box strat or doing a box strat when I started doing this, or I'd have picked something else, to be honest. The whole the whole game is stay ahead of Grim. Do something Grim isn't doing. Or do the thing Grim's doing at the same time as Grim does it. Because once the video comes out. <laughs> Or do the thing that supplies the juice for the thing Grim is doing. Yep, yep. That as well. That's a good one also. Alright, so that one's a 10 to 20 pack size. Which is pretty decent. With a 60% pack size on it. So if I take drops splinters of Chiula and put it on the high density decent pack size with a pack size modifier I should get plenty of chalupas this is going to be so expensive in order to min max suppression you never needed suppression in this build it was always a well over the top degenerate min max thing to do Respect to using how I mean, you say you get them. I mean, where? I mean, I just got them from other people's hideouts. That's that's where I got them from. And if you're not in solo cell found, that's where I suggest you get them from too. More passes, and go for eight mod instead of twelve. Um, I still think twelve is the play. It's just that at the time I could afford an eight. They were cheap and 12s were very expensive and even if I could afford a 12 which I definitely couldn't I didn't have the alts to roll it and I just haven't replaced it yet Did they fix leech? Yup. It's OP. Leech doesn't apply to the clones from Blinkar Mirror. That sounds like a bug report. 
waiting to happen. was bugged with it it turns out we were leeching 0.1 percent of the damage dealt by minions as life rather than one percent desecrate yeah you can just desecrate them in people's hideouts exactly that anyone who's already got it did instant leech gets fixed yes and also no turns out instant leech was never broken it's just that the leech was so bad that we couldn't notice instant leech technically working and now all the leech is fixed We did add another mob we can't run, which is instant, which is cannot leech. Well, did we though? Because we could already run the entire build without it. Too much clutter. pet blood ah, i don't know if i'm keeping that or not actually i'll just drop them in there okay Look at how many of these I'm getting in a single map though. There's actually like literally no way that you could ever use them all ever. Look at them. I'm only halfway through the map. My inventory is full. The YouTube algorithm keeps popping you up. Nice. Like it's full again, man. We need so much more room. Look, here's the deal. I don't even need more room. I don't even need more room. I lied. Forget about more room. Forget about the box. Just let me use my own quad tabs and let me access them from the map device. I Like you even if you give me more storage, you're not going to give me enough. I I don't believe I feel like I've lost both DPS and survivability since yesterday. Because of my character is doing two mil less DPS than yesterday. Uh, you're only doing eight mil. Is something wrong? 
I should be doing at least 13. Well, actually, I did drop a little bit. I might be doing a little bit less because uh, I put in uh, um, Forbidden Flesh and Flame. But no, nothing wrong to my knowledge. LOL The chalupa mobs that come from those all flame Also drop me a seven in sleep Uh, breach farming is dead. I hope you don't have breach on your trees guys. Just fucking use omens. They're better I've gotten 91 chalupa splinters of a sword this map. There's not even been a breach here <laughs> 91 there's not even a breach on my map. I think there was. I think it was a tell breach or something. Taking any league mechanic mods on the tree? No. Wait, hang on. Hold the phone. Wait. Wait. Isn't there one for like splinters double or something like that? No, maybe there isn't. Yeah, splinters can drop as stones. That's what I was after. No. Seven in sleep drop from an all flame use. Yep. It most certainly did. You saw a link for how to set up your stash for selling stuff. Uh, we lazy link it. Yes. Uh, exclamation mark rich. How much of a problem is it that I have desecrate third in my link? Um, I also have desecrate third in my link, so not that much of a problem. It's important to prioritize what you think is the most important part. So I'm mapping. So when I drop my Arcanist brand, I really want my offering to go off first thing as quick as possible. Always just offering immediately. There will already be corpses, I promise. But it means if there isn't a corpse, if I'm fighting something boss-like, right? Then it's going to try and flesh offering, fail, then curse, then drop a desecrate, then try an offering again. Do a slim this. Mm, no. The chances of you getting the thing you actually want from a slam on that is like next to nothing. Get your magic find characters ready. Hey, Mr. Squilly 2. 
Thank you very much for the prime. Can't find any thank you fast good clear builds to play. What about that? Cock chain DD thing people are playing on an Inquisitor. Is it tanky enough? There's a second season in PoE. Sorry for the noob question. Here's the guide. I have some questions for leveling and comprehension. If somebody can help me. Relax. The level one if you're a guide is it normal during most of the acts they still level one. Oh, okay um n no you should be leveling the gems as, as as needed they're just level one in the path of building because I actually don't know because they're either level one or level 20 um I just didn't like take the time to figure out what gem level each individual gem would be at at each act so it's just a representation of what gems you want to have you still do want to level them you'll be actually you'll struggle a lot if you don't level them accompanied by a map boss how the fuck is that a mod? What do you sell and do you only run shaper guardians with the shrine box rush atlas um i was i was only running shapers but the answer is you sell all the excess boss maps and anything else that you get in there um, but that's extra scarabs and shit i was getting i was basically sustaining my own shaper maps and then selling all the extra guardians No matter what level map I use the moon and the scarab on, it might. I actually don't know. Fragments, chance for watchers eyes and dying suns and sell the uber fragments um i wasn't but you definitely could you definitely could
Those are Pantheons. Uh, I've got the Chaos Miner on the right hand side right now and Brian King. definitely just random map bosses certainly if i have my map boss tree on right now we'd be going quite well because there's a buttload of map bosses in here i need more mana leech working so well leech is working so well yeah. Hey, with your Sulfur buff nodes. Yep. I like the max res and the movement speed quite a lot. It also just drops more boxes as well. So pretty hard to pass that one up too. I mean it hit 25. That's pretty good. Remember when rolling those that call to the slaughter isn't mandatory at all. It's just the only notable that doesn't make it worse. It's fine to have, but it's also fine to have no notable. Most of life getting full with petrified blood. Life flask is the only thing that can raise my life above full. Whoops. Which are the best of groups of the new league mechanic atlas passives um i i think they're actually all pretty good now it's more about what you want to focus on so on the right hand side here is some crafting focus nodes if you take these you'll get way more corpses better quality corpses be able to craft more really really good shit if you come on this side this makes your monsters more dangerous and also more rewarding. More devoted modifiers, etc. And then up here, drop a bunch more of the all flames, which is actually becoming a problem for me right now because I have way too many all flames. Don't know what I'm going to do about that. Except possibly make a tab to dump them in in guild for teflon to take and sell all the extra all flames i'm generating If you have too many, just use them. I think I'm walking out of every map with about 20. Like per map. I literally can't use them all. Oh, to clear only the packs to leave the mob. 
I'll just clear them all and do the guardians last. Um, I just cleared my way there. I wasn't gonna like try and full clear to have less than 50 and then come back for bosses. No way. Take too long, pain in the ass, unfun. I just make sure that I have less than 50 by the time I get to the end. All frames for the crap ones. It depends on if any of them are. It depends on if any of them are like, like can I turn them off? Are they selling for like twenty c a piece, or are they selling for like one c a piece? Like if they're one c a piece, I'll turn them off. I don't know. There's gonna be some bad ones, I agree, but it's too soon to know what those bad ones are. Because we just got a rebalance of all of them, right? And settle for a bigger locker i really like the suggestion of exactly like the heist locker where each individual type has its own thing all the frogs end up in one tab that's a more appropriate amount of room for them as well so that that would be very cool it was not my suggestion but that, that would be a very cool thing to do around from one compressing the link nice i'm taking the devoted shrines that drop mini shrines i am that i don't know yeah See, like this one. Strongest monster in pack gets 1,440% quantity. Like, if I put a meat sack with that, is that going to be good? I don't know. I don't know. It's because it's just generic. I got Pebbler working pretty well. Here's my current setup. Let's have a look. Let's have a look.
Um, so we still got that. So you've gone the Aegis Aurora stuff. Huge. Great. Still on weather. Cool. So you're using Glancing Blow Block as well. And not using Glancing Blow Block? Are you block capped? Nope, got like 55% on both. I think you should just drop this wheel right here and take glancing blow and just be capped on both. But haste, blessing, shield charge, pet. Explain what a meat sack does. It basically combines the entire pack, every single pack into one single mob. Hmm. How did you fit that in? Wait. You've got vitality still. Wait, how have you done mana? Oh, three here and the helmet. Yep, okay. So what have you dropped then? You just don't have my love. Okay. Yeah, six percent on jewels. I see. No malevolence you don't get a malevolence well i mean you get either a blessing malevolence or a blessing haste the only way to get malevolence but the only way to get both auras back on is ulz well it's technically not the only way but it's the only good way like is meat sack really gonna be good for that like i don't think it is I don't think that's enough of the music. I think they have to be div or something. I I think so too. Yeah, I think exalt is like the lowest I would go. Exalt div or scarab. And you exit the window, you can just hit escape now. Wouldn't even use it on exalt to be honest. I think exalt is like questionable whether or not that's worth. But anything below that is like a hard no.
this one I was 3% chance to exalt and I got 25 for the map Huh See 25x feels worth it, right? Like that's are they still like 10 C each? Isn't that like 250 chaos? Gonna be a lot of trade interaction. Teflon, there's gonna be a tab named for Teflon tomorrow. And you're gonna hate me. Or, well, you're gonna hate me while you do it and then love me after when there's money. <laughs> but you're gonna hate me while you do it. Too much clutter. Too much clutter. Okay. Hi, Teflon. when I posted before uh no oh scrolled up a bunch still didn't see it in discord no oh oh was that a meat sack? It has to have been, right? I don't know how you're getting the 300% modifiers. I don't know, it's just what they are. I assumed it was because I've got like rolled maps and then all these nodes down here making them stronger. And if you think, but I've got all those nodes, probably double check you don't have these ones. Uh, still shows the boss is the current one This one these ones right here are reduced effect These are increased effect This is increased chance for devoted modifiers All lanterns are one tier higher 30% chance for devoted these are reduced and they're 20% reduced each These are only 10% increased They're playing like Earth slash Magma Strike. 
Oh boy, is there. Uh, Molten Strike. Shads is currently playing it. This is build. I put a build guide out on it for League Start on YouTube. There's a whole path of building, leveling trees, everything. Just hit something useful. There we go. Uh -huh. and it's slapping hard. There's a few people. I think there's probably a few people in chat also playing it, but. But Shads is also here and was also playing it. So now here we go. 48%, 60% pack size on a good pack size mob with a 35% chance to contain extras with high density. Pack drop scarab? No. Uh, High density, extra mobs. I should try the scarab thing. I should try the scarab thing. Let's see how many scarabs you drop. The melee humanoids, monster jack, so it's 10 to 25 and it's got 60% increase. This thing's got less pack size, so we don't want that. This has got more pack size, but less quality. It's probably still going to be better there. You can go there. You can stay there. Okay. Look, there are dozens of us. Is it actually just dozens? Is there anyone there playing a different version? Oh, I've got an on the fame of Harris appearing monster, 72. Yep. I wonder if that is all Shads' build. There's another meat sack. Passive heat back. I think it's all mine. <laughs> nice.
Mm. It wasn't on strike. I see this again. Almost have to be in it. This is a lot. Frog Giga Chan. That's nice. Minion damage and res and attack and cast speed and life. Do love me some Rog. I refuse to play Molten Strike until they let me hit the ground again. I think they could have left that in. I don't think it would have caused a big problem either. Did you get rid of the leech sentence? You know, nope. In fact, I would say it's fantastic. It's way better than before, and now everybody should take it. It's really good. It got made 10 times as strong. Is it 1% or 0.1%? It was 0.1%. It is no longer 0.1%. Version yet. Where's the switch? Very easy. Uh, the switch is super easy. I drop this one block wheel, put glancing block instead, and change to flesh offering. And then drop mistress to sacrifice and pick up bone barrier instead. That's it. Oh, I guess also take the instant leech node. 10% of leech is instant. Pretty good. I should shift over to Crimson Prison though. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I should too. Ooh. I saw Bob's life flash before his eyes just then. Hey, hi. The chaos stop multi craft on weapon. Ah, uh, maybe. I 
if an unveiling can do for me. I mean, I'll craft something you need if you need it, but I don't want to do like unveils and shit for anybody. I'd rather you did it. Check if I've got it as soon as I've finished looting all my loot. Fucking scarabs, man. They're everywhere. Instant leech working now? Yup. All the leech is working now, and it's good. the big news how's it feel with pet blood um pretty good oh oh it's this one right Okay, I lied. I want to unveil it. Salah. You ready? You ready? Ooh. Ooh. I mean we take double damage but I'm pretty sure it just goes again I'm, I'm pretty sure like you take double damage but like I'm pretty sure you just go again I like as a re-ashling is what that is Upsetty spaghetti. Although, if I understand it right, there's no fail state here, right? There's just go again states. Like this is in such a state where you can't lose, you just keep going until you hit, right? Lol. Be careful. And it's just leech fixed? Yeah, and it's so good. Cannot fail ever, just five div per try. Yep. Should have traded him a regret. Should have, yeah. Should have. The leech is fixed and it is fantastic. It's so good. Fuck off with the Val orbs though. I don't want those. Ooh. See, now here's where I'm torn. Here's where I'm torn, right? This one's got 50% pack size on it and I can put 60% pack size on it. So now it's got huge pack size, but low density. Region even in no regen maps because we're using ES recharge, which looks like the same thing but absolutely isn't <laughs> uh. 
Well, I don't think the all fames change the density. It's just a pack size thing. Right? Which will then benefit from this 50% and this 60%. Right? Like this, the catalyst one here is only three to six monsters. And I'm going to, I'm going to throw it on. And now it's 10 to 21 monsters, but it's still low density, right? And that I believe doesn't account for this. So it's got more, even more pack size than that, but there's not that many of these packs in here. This 6% chance to drop Val orbs. If I put frogs on it would drop me a fuck load of Val orbs. I don't need that many Val orbs and I'm not spending a frog on them, but it would. Uh, the amount of times I've hit 35% and 2% <laughs> killing me. Put a frog on them just so they know who's in charge. By the way, meat sack's probably dead. They don't do shit after the pack. I've already used one and it did pretty decently. Um, it was definitely nerfed, but it was still pretty decent. I think their price just adjusts over the next day or so. I don't, I think you'll still use them. They're just going to be cheaper. I'm gonna have to go to bed soon Soonish Maybe like another hour go bud there you are how much are you worth yeah i mean they're like 35 c each Kidding that instant leech is crazy now. Yeah, it's really good.
A divine orb. I died because I forgot the map had Ellie Effect and I frost blinked. Uh, you should immediately take this opportunity to regret all of your decisions. Um, but specifically your frost blink to level one. You just want a quality but level one frost blink so that you can't kill yourself to reflect and you don't ever have to worry about it. At least a 75 block cap. Yep. How are we achieving 75% block? I can't seem to get it on mine. Glancing blows. It's not true block anymore. Tricks. Never from unnatural strength. That's way too important. Uh, I would choose to give up Mistress of Sacrifice, but you could also choose to give up Commander in Darkness, but then that would put a lot of strain on your gear to fix up all those res holes and whatnot. Could using an Emperor's Vigilance Shield now be an option? I don't know what that is. KS2 block and plus one fire, but no life on block. I mean, it's a large part of your recovery. With instant leech the way it is, you can probably get away without it for a bit. Just woke up. Is leech fixed and worth it? It's so fucking good. Uh, I all it's so good that we're in the middle of the same stream the patch happened. And I already made and posted a YouTube video. That's how good it is. That I didn't even wait until the end of the stream. I just made a YouTube video while streaming. Which is not something I do normally. Oh, that wasn't like a go watch the video thing. That was just like a yes, it's really good. So good. I, so good. I went and did the video thing. <laughs> I mean, you can watch it. Feel free. Watch the whole thing. Hit the like button. Leave a comment below and do all the things. But you know. Use custom loot filter sounds. Do I have to download a local copy of your filter or that work with the online filter? <laughs> so. Ooh, you basically, you have to download a local copy.
enough to work to finally survive in maps. Yep. If I link item ready to poison this arrest, does it work when the poison makes the kill? No. No, it doesn't. That is not a dumb question. All kills done by minions will be tonight or uh, sorry will be um attributed to the player not the minion so even the rarity support on the minion will not apply Leash mastery should we pick in Barma? Some people have been telling me that Barma isn't working. Like the leech isn't working for Barma for some reason. definitely is i'm using it now okay in that case the exact same ones i'm using would be my suggestion was it go to atlas at the moment there isn't one Yeah, apparently essences were fixed so hopefully that six percent chance to drop chaos orbs see i'm not putting frogs on that it's just chaos orbs like how much of i can't press frogs but they're more they're too expensive they're too expensive Frogs and rats, both too expensive for chaos orbs. It's just not as potent as SRS because you have nowhere near as many. Ah, right, of course. Of course, because you can only get that 1% leech per hit. I have 20 SRSs, so the instant leech. Right, so the instant stuff might not be that useful. But the leech in general still really, really, really would be. That makes sense. I have no idea what this one does. Like reward sulfite on death, but what kind of monsters? I'm just going to fucking throw it in because I want to see. I mean, I'm not going to get any sulfite. I just, I just want to see what the mobs look like. Life is short. Deal with it. Damn it, I thought I'd hidden behind this tree. But apparently I had not hidden behind that tree correctly. Mm -hmm. 
Why, hello? They work with the Atlas node to get Azerite. Wait, really? <laughs> they work with the Azerite node? That could be huge. Hey Sam Crowder, how you doing? Melee splash better for leech or should I stick with multi-strike? I mean, melee splash is better for clear. Multi-strike's clear is pretty awkward. Getting like 15k per map. Jesus. Yeah, I see the big yellow boy. He gives me zero sulfite because I my sulfite's capped. And I would, I'm never going to spend it because fuck Delve. That ain't my place. Using a solar cell phone before getting the tier 70 inspectors as power charge monkeys. Well, um, I think it's fucking is either Drox or Baron that the Arena Master comes from, and any beyond map is that the Pale Sephirim comes from. And those would be your goal. And until you can get them, you're just using Carnage Chieftains. Because at least you can pick them up in the campaign. Drox? Drox has the Arena Masters, right? I always forget like which one's which. Until the mapping this league. Paying off pretty hard with essences and raw divs. Nice. Delve is a really good place. When I say fuck Delve, I don't mean Delve is shit, don't go there. I mean, I don't want to Delve. Specifically me. Try out Harbinger yet? Box of this night, but I heard Harbingers and shit. I have not tried out Harbingers. But that might be the next thing I try, I think, because it seems very good. Baby, wait, is that you? Is that you?
why the fuck is your account named spectrum of here why isn't it dreadful That makes me that makes me unreasonably mad get your magic plan by the way ready. like clearly you can have your account be whatever you want but it makes me unreasonably upset mac twonk thank you very much for the t1 sub By the way, you're getting another video tonight, like immediately after stream, just so that you know that it's coming. and how fast I could farm up my Nimbus. Fair enough. It's fine. This one isn't a rush like the patch note one was. Just whenever you get up is fine. I've also ran Poison SRS for like three seasons in a row now. It's so good have some ideas i'm playing around with ideas in my head the starters i am liking pet blood but it's just a little bit shy i have to figure out how to make it a tiny bit better because i'm generically way more tanky but i'm now getting one shot a little more often than i was but when i don't get one shot i'm way more tanky so I just have to fix that one shot a little bit. A progenesis would fix it, but that's a real expensive solution. I don't want that to be the solution. Uh, what's pet pun? Petrified blood. You might notice that unless I life last, I'm at half life all the time now. Because the leech mastery now works. And that means I can use instant leech. Not only am I using instant leech, but I'm also constantly over leeching because I'm pet blood. Is it a node on the tree? No, no, it's an aura. So I actually dropped vitality to run Petrified Blood. When taking damage from hits, 40% of the life lost below half is prevented. And then 76% of the life lost prevented this way is then lost over four seconds. So it turns 40% of the hit damage that I would take into a degen. Or, I mean, it, mitified, it mitigates 25% of it to begin with and then turns the rest of that into a degen over four seconds, which I can then counter with leech. So it's like a 40% less one shot, but I have to sit at 55% life to do it. It overleach because of it being instant now. It does not negate overleach. Um, so because neither the instant leech nor the leech 
will actually bring my health back up above the 50 percent so the over leech is just going all the time during combat and if i get hurt my full normal leech rate comes into effect but also then the instant leech also starts working so like it recovers really 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 fast but because i'm at half life even with the 40 percent mitigation i'm now getting one shot again and so just occasionally i'm getting one shot and i, I want to fix that bit as well if i can fix that i they'll never die again i'll never die again Excuse me, what the fuck is that helmet you have on? <laughs> Trash? Why? It's just something I haven't replaced yet. You have two cobalt drills now. Can you open up a little bit on those? Oh, uh, sure. Hang on. Double life res plus two levels. Right, but not the right implicits. No fizz taken as fire. No suppress. Not chaos res. Like, I guess okay. But it's not. Like, I need to replace it. Redeemer's exalts were 90 C yesterday. Taylor put one on blame him. Okay. I mean, I did put on a redeemer ring, but. Ganul's now, how much was that? 6.5 div. I fucking robbed the guy. It had been up for sale for about eight seconds. I fucking robbed him. <laughs> Absolutely robbed the guy. Like a live on stream mugging occurred today. Um, anyway. So these are a forbidden flesh and flame combo. What those do is they allocate an ascendancy point. It could be any witch ascendancy. It doesn't have to be necromancer. But that let me do this. So now I took Mistress of Sacrifice. I've actually kept Flesh Offering for now. Um, but I took Mistress of Sacrifice and I have forbidden the Bone Barrier. So we're doing... Now I have five Ascendancy Nodes, basically. That's what those do. Now, if you're interested in getting to this stage that I'm at where I've got the five ascendancies. What's important to know is that you do not have to get the same one I've got. Bone Barrier, you could get Unnatural Strength, Bone Barrier, Mistress of Sacrifice, or Commander in Darkness. All of them are fine because we can just respec and take whichever one we're missing, right? As long as it's one of the edge ones, it doesn't matter which set. Um. Yeah. I don't know that I got lucky. Yeah. But to be fair, also, this is the haste one. I mean, it's only 24 to 22 div right now because it's the envy is the one you really want. Right? It's not even, it's not even technically, technically, it's not even the right bulls. Why is Envy better? Ah, it's only better by a little bit. It's only better by a little bit. Um, 
there's two mods that are different on the ulls well that matter anyway well one really one there's one role that matters this one comes with percent increased evasion that's what the haste one comes with worthless to me i'm not an evasion character couldn't care less um the dex is nice the other ones come with different things that are all pretty equally useless the envy one comes with global defense which is both our armor and energy shield so it's the best but anything you can get lets you put on an extra aura right like whichever one i get that works lets me put on an extra so now i have haste on permanently and I have malevolence on my blessing. So now I have malevolence in my build again. So it's another 20% more damage over time and 19% skill effect duration. <clears throat> well, ideally either envy, haste or determination because they're all 50 percenters. And malevolence is acceptable, but in my opinion, it's the worst one. Uh, because if you get a malevolence envy it means that malevolence is the aura you have to put in your unset ring and put on permanently which means you still have to blessing the haste and what i want to do is not have to blessing the haste because now i always have the haste i can always dash around and move quicker it is just way more comfortable and my blessing is just a do more damage button instead of a go faster button so if i can avoid the malevolence envy i will or the malevolence ulls rather than i will but it's still pretty good right even if if it was the cheapest one okay right because it's still you would still just get an aura you didn't have before all right i was expecting it tonight or tomorrow usa time cam cool i was expecting it to happen in pieces over the course of the week I do not know how they got through that much work in one day. What did you drop for petrified blood? Uh, I dropped one spectre because I had to change my anoint to charisma and I took out vitality, which means I actually lost almost all my regen because almost all of it came from vitality. I now have only 290 regen total instead of like seven or 800, but I have instant leech and over leech and all of that sort of stuff. What made you drop the war caller? The war caller's uptime is too bad. Um, I was using a different one, a uh, spectral leader. It's much better, but I had to drop a spectre at least temporarily because I needed to use my anoint to fit in the extra petrified blood aura. Okay, I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to use one of the meat sacks for science on this. Oh, no, that's rarity. Never mind. I thought that was another 1000 something quant. I wanted to see what happened with a quant meat sack, but that's a rarity one. So never mind. That's not important at all. Can I ask a question related to minions? Go ahead. latency spikes for the old server not today but it's been it was fucking woefully bad yesterday 
No poison nurse. Can I double up and get both fizz and chaos on jewels? Yes, but it's more like one and a half times dip. Because we don't actually have a hundred percent converted to chaos. Because we have one hundred percent. Hang on. Drive, a tow truck. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I like that. We don't actually have a hundred percent to chaos because the gem already has a hundred percent to fire. So it squishes it down to 50, 50, 50% 50 fire, 50% chaos, which is still more base damage than we had before. But it means that on your ghastly jewel, two physical damage is worth the same as one chaos damage. So we can use them, but it's not quite as efficient. it removes the elemental yeah but it doesn't give you that damage that it removed right like it stops the fire from happening which we don't care about at all it's absolutely allowed to stop the fire from happening couldn't give a shit but it's not giving you that half so i still don't understand how you have five ascendancy nodes it's a forbidden flesh and flame these two jewels right here they come in combos, so you have to get the same one. They come from Eater and Exarch. And so I got Bone Barrier combo of Forbidden Flesh and Forbidden Flame. And that allocates an Ascendancy node. The one I got is Bone Barrier. Uh, as a leech, is it working properly? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean... My health doesn't move anymore. Unless I get one tapped. Sometimes it's, I still die to one tap sometimes, but, but if you don't one tap me, then you can't kill me. Like that. You have to kill me like, you know, you have to kill me like that. If you don't kill me like, like that, then I won't die. And not before. And why do you have a half HP? That is petrified blood. That is this aura right here. What are these two tones? Uh, really good. Will do nicely, Exile. Ah, oh. okay. All right, relax. So the, the downside of going petrified blood is I gave myself a slightly worse, um, like one shot area because I took away 45% of my life but I only mitigate 40% of the additional hit which means I just became like a little bit squishier in the one shot area which I had only just gotten enough gear to get better at so we're going to have to fix that I have some ideas I don't know what I'm going to go with yet Kill 
field is vulnerable to a swift kick in the balls. It is for now. For now. But only for now. But only for now. You guys hear Avenue Q's shut down? They're not doing like Broadway productions anymore. I'm real sad about it. I wanted to go see Avenue Q again. It was really good. I've already been twice. I mean, that's kind of what happens, you know, but I'm still sad about it. It was really good. I don't know if we can go to rapid assault. I don't know what that one is. I forgot that they added if you take off specters in your hideout, they drop at your feet. Wait, what? I thought that was only for the corpses from last league. It's the onslaught node. Oh, nice. That should be worth something, right? off my boots and they dropped to the ground huh well that's definitely cool go number two you don't want me to do the unveil again i'll do the craft i'll do the craft and then you show me what you hit it can and it should wear the windscreen because that's what's in the build guide because otherwise it can't cuss with temp chains it needs the ability to have two cusses You're making a new bow if you've got this one. Oh, let's see. This one doesn't have two arrows. That's so good though. Rip. 
No. Oh. There's some good Spectre Space Arrest now. I don't think I can get the turtles again. Ah, because the you are standard. I mean, do you even have access to the new corpses? Probably not. You're probably just back to pale, uh, arena master pale Sephirim and um, if there's a third one, then the harvester dude. Who I can't remember. Me by vapes, you don't need more. Mild Brisbane, that's the one. You don't need more. I've got what I've got. And what, I, what I've got is no more Alk Scour problems. 12, it's nearly 1300 fuses. 2.2 div in fuses. Nice. Still at least 30, probably more. Right. Yeah, because that's 13.50. That didn't go up. Yeah, look at that. That's like 90. We can call it a day. I got another video to record. I'm fucking excited about this leech thing. People are starting to make silly stuff. Good. There's a 1k claw up with attack speed and multi for only 90 div. Nice. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see silly stuff. That's exactly what I wanted. Crap. There's no borrowed power in this league, right? There's no charms. There's no relic slot. There's no fucking entire secondary ascendancy. There's nothing. There's no borrowed power of any kind. That means the crafting needs to be like fucking boom. Here's some disgusting stuff. So I'm I'm excited. I, I think that's what it should be. And use base stuff. Then we need to influence it. Yep. Have you tried crafting yet with the new change? No. I actually haven't. Almost the opposite, really. We're buffing the mobs in the map most of the time. Yep. My mate Guardian hasn't had the boots for two days, so my curse wasn't working. Ah. Well, if you take temp chains out of... Uh... If you take temp chains out of one of the path of buildings, you'll notice it's very bad. You'll notice that it hurts your damage quite a lot.
Him chains is what the animate guardian brings. That's probably his biggest damage buff that he gives you is just the level one temp chains from the gloves. And jump between 100 and 1000 and mouse, what the fuck is going on? I don't know, but apparent, a lot of people are having that problem apparently. Uh, I don't even have a good sword, but well, you should you should do the upgrade Also three milliseconds in town the fuck the best I ever see is like 12 14 I guess the servers are like next door to you and <laughs> not me fair, fair enough Fair enough Can we add an essence mod to an existing item? No. Okay, Aegis Aurora? Mm, not currently. It's still on the list of maybes, that or a surrender, or possibly a rare shield. If we want to do Ubers, do we need to transition into suppression? Mm, no, you really never need to transition into suppression. Uh, yes, leech is fixed. Well, buffed to 10 times what it was. It was, it was leeching one tenth what it was meant to be leeching. Literally just a decimal point problem. It turns out it was always interacting with instant leech, except instead of gaining 30 to 50 health per hit, you were gaining three to five health per hit, which was so little we couldn't even notice it. So we assumed it wasn't working. But it turns out it was working, it just wasn't giving enough leech to matter because it wasn't based on 1% of the damage dealt. It was based on 0.1% of the damage dealt. So now it's great. Now it's fantastic. Ten <laughs> percent of 0.1% of damage. Yep. That's not gonna be noticeable. Yep. Instant leech? Yes, we get the instant note now. I'm going to jump off. I will see everybody tomorrow. Bye.